I see about the dichotomy I expected in chat of uh, people excited about being in a post-cactus fruit world and also people who missed it, namely Karita, crying. <laughs> um, it's about what I expected, but you know what? Unfortunately, that's just the reality of the situation. Not everyone could have been there, but here we are. And uh, I'm not even sure that I'm here right now because it still kind of feels like a, like a weird dream that I'm going to wake up from eventually. <laughs> but how's everybody doing tonight? Can you hear me? I just want to make sure, because my mic says it's working, but I don't know if, uh, if, if it's coming through. Testing, testing, one, two. This is Argon, do you copy? <laughs> yes, you hear me? No, you don't hear me? Alright, sounds about right. No, you can't hear me. <laughs> off on, thank you for starting us off with a, uh, a $5 super chat there. Been hyped for the stream all weekend. It's It's been, uh, I've been like so excited to get into this all weekend as well. It's so cool seeing all these people come back and it's all familiar names and oh, it's just overwhelming right now because it's still I'm still kind of riding that high. Ooh, and one of my favorite songs hits the playlist. See, there's some new mods now. We do have we do have a couple new mods. Uh, Elite Lisa's in here right now. There is at least uh, one new mod added in as well. In addition to Lisa, I've been talking with uh, with another person about being a YouTube mod specifically, so yeah, hopefully we'll be able to be more well covered. Not that chat has been like in need of more mods recently, it's just that you know, better to cut it off before before it becomes a, a problem. At any rate, I digress. I think everyone is just as excited as I am to get into the gameplay here, so Let's go ahead and check out the fan art before anything else, because that is also a very exciting thing to see. New fan art today, starting with this lovely little piece from Ayana over in the Discord. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, we might not be far away from this reality right now. That's a beautiful, like, outfit, too. I love that, honestly. Um, And the, you got the leprechaun shoes there. It's a bit of a prickly throne, maybe. I don't know if I'd be comfortable sitting on that. However... I appreciate all the little attention to detail. You got a whole box full of jades over there. It's kind of it's 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 a pretty great interpretation of that. It's very well done. Thank you to Ayana in the Discord for that. Uh, let me pop over here because I see real quick Creatrix coming in with a fifty dollar smack of dabble do of a <laughs> super chat. I don't know what that word I just said was, but that's how flustered I was. Uh, I've been saving this for when the magic fruit arrives, and then you don't get it when I'm asleep. Congrats. It's just the way it goes, unfortunately. I, I'm glad that you're still here to experience things af after they come, though. Or after uh, experience the journey as it continues, I suppose I should say. I'm I'm, I'm still in pieces from the last stream, but thank you. And thank you for the $15 super chat as well. That's it's, it's very generous already off the bat tonight, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, to Purple Birdie, $15 super chat. So sad I missed the Cactus Fruit Live, but we finally did it. Exactly. Everyone was there in spirit. Everyone who's been here for, like, any part of the journey, I felt you there in spirit as we all sort of collectively celebrated the cactus fruit, so. Anyway, um, <laughs> and hello Alyssa as well. She is our other new mod that we got in here right now. Welcome, welcome. And hello Blade, I see you as well. Alright, I need to get through the, the, the fan art here before we can move on to any actual real things, okay? <laughs> Give me one second. Alright, so next piece of fan art is this one. I wasn't able to, like, watermark this one the way that I normally do, because as you can see, it's a GIF, or a GIF. It only, it doesn't loop apparently either, so if we want to see it again, we have to go back and forth. But this is from Jenna in the Discord. Thank you very much to Jenna. This is, this is very cute. It's, I mean, it is what it is. It's pretty, it's pretty accurate, true to life right there. That's the cactus root, baby. <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to change that drip pretty soon, though. That's, that'll be happening tonight as well. It's a very big, important thing. So, because all, we all know that outfits are an integral part of the stream. So thank you to Jenna for that. Next up, we have another piece from Jenna, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this lovely little pixel art uh, portrait of Chloe right here. Her hair done up in a nice bun. It almost like she's going for, like, a, a workout or something. This is kind of nice. Like, this, this, it's really nice. I mean, I should say. I don't know why I say kind of. But it's, uh, yeah, no, thank you very much to Jenna for that. Very good interpretation of Chloe. It's always cool seeing different people's interpretations of her. 
Following that up, we got this <laughs> lovely little comic from uh, from Ellie Bingo in the Discord. I did have to censor some stuff in here, but it's, I mean, everyone has their own headcanon for how it happened in the end, especially given the fact that we found the cactus root in Haley's garbage can of all places. But it is, uh, this, this, this is one interpretation of events, and you know what? I, I'm kind of here for it. I'm kind of here for it. Thank you very much to uh, to Ellie, Ellie Bingo in the Discord for this one. I believe we have one last piece of fan art. This little lovely sketch from uh, It's Lindsay. I'm never quite sure exactly how to pronounce it, but It's Lindsay over on Instagram. Another headcanon version of how, how this all went down. This is what I like to imagine. Like, I mean, the the way that I imagine it when I have, because I've watched back the clip from the pre from the end of the previous stream like so many times now it's just kind of ingrained in my head because I had to make it real in my brain but I like to imagine that like when it happened like I, I can just picture Chloe breaking down and like crying on, the, on like the side of the road as Kent and Shane are walking past <laughs> and they're like looking at her like freaking out and then Haley and maybe Emily are like looking looking wistfully like past the curtain in their house and just like oh man very, very cool stuff. It, it's... We made it. We made it. Anyway. Moving right along, thank you to all of the fan artists for submit for sharing their fan art this week, as well as to all the fan artists who have shared it in previous weeks. If you'd like to submit your own fan art, exclamation point Discord to do that. There is a fan art panel over there where you can submit every, anything you want to share. Let me know how you want to be credited, if you want to be credited, if you want to be shared on stream, whatever you want to do. I'm, you can also share it with me on Twitter at ArgonMatrix. Whatever works best for you. I digress for right now. Let's go ahead and pop back over here. And see where the winds take us tonight. Shall we dance? Let's do it. Opinions on today's copy pasta? Uh, it was the Sims patch notes, right, Snatcher? I saw that. I, I briefly glanced at it. It, it. it did make me chuckle, because I mean I remember that video from a while back. It was uh it was a good one. Alright. Let's go ahead, let me go ahead and swap over to Stardew Valley here. So I'm not exactly sure how far we're going to get in thing with, with things tonight. Like, obviously the next order of business is going to be Ginger Island. I did a little bit of practice, a little bit of work in the lab uh, in between streams over on the Discord. There was, there was a, we had a little fun, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm in the game here. I gotta, I'm going to first, I'm going to pause the music here. Because I'd like to use in-game music for tonight's stream at the very least. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch over. For anyone who might have doubted that it did actually happen, there it is, live and in person. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I assume we'll get to Ginger Island tonight, but I don't know. There's like so many different like little things to take care of. But let's go ahead and get things sorted out here. Starting with, of course, we got to get the music actually back on. Beautiful. Beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, here is the sweet fruit of the prickly pear cactus. This thing that has been stymieing us. We've had such a love-hate relationship with it over the past few months. It's finally graced us on spring 11th, year 7 was the, was the big day. After 4,778 garbage cans is what it was recalculated to. Exclamation point trash. We have like so many mods in chat. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not used to it. I've seen. I've seen all the blue. All right. Let's do what we need to do here. All right. Let's actually make some stuff happen. Sorry if I don't look too much at chat or as much at chat as I usually do during uh during the stream because I am going to be focused on a lot of other things in the actual game this time. Keep a backup of your save file in case something goes catastrophically wrong when you go to Ginger Island. Literally first thing after after that stream ended after the stream ended on Friday I made a backup save I copied this save and pasted it in a, in a, in a very secure folder so nothing to worry about on that front we're we're good we're good we were denied fanfic it's true it's true but who knows it might come to pass later in the future anyway it we're already like almost 10 minutes into the stream here I need to actually start doing things because it's not real until I start moving today, and I mean, I'm not sure I'm ready for it to be real, but let's go, let's go, okay. Where do we even begin? We have to begin, um, okay. We begin with the seed maker. 
because as much as the cactus fruit is what we were been look, have been looking for for so long, what we really need are cactus seeds. So I want to make a very special, specific seed maker just for the cactus fruit. So I need some gold, coal, and wood. And I feel like this is going to be a good spot for it, is am amidst all the owls. I just think that seems that seems fitting to me for some reason. So let's go grab all the resources. This is we want to take care of this. Oh my god, we almost don't have enough gold. We we, <laughs> we need exactly one bar of gold. We need to smelt a bar of gold. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we need to wait for gold to smelt before we can. Oh, okay, well you know what? Forget that then. No, you know what? I was gonna say we just go grab another seed maker, but this ha it has to be special. It has to be done. So we'll just bite the bullet on this one. We're gonna go ahead and smelt a single bar of gold. I will grab the 25 wood that I need. And how much coal did I need for one of these? 10 coal, okay. I can make that happen too. Just go ahead and, oops, that's that's not the right button. 10, we'll put that away. All right. Why do you need cactus again? Exclamation point FAQ, if you are uh, at all concerned about that. But basically what we need it for is the Desert Obelisk, and to complete the Community Center, so... Oh, by the way, it's the Egg Festival tomorrow? How are you gonna troll now? You're gonna have to- you're gonna have to get more creative, Blade. You don't have a, a good fallback now, you got <laughs> Oh, shoot, I put away the coal. Alright, yeah, you're gonna have to figure something out, I'm not sure. Alright. Let's get some coffee in us, some Triple Shot Espresso. As we as we usually do. Oh my gosh, the Fruit Bat Cave actually kind of cracked with it. I don't know when the last time I checked this thing is, but it feels like it must have been forever. And I guess what we do now while we wait for our seed maker to incubate, the goal for our seed maker to come around, we just go ahead and uh, we'll see if we need to do a Crystallarium run. I don't think we do because we just did one yesterday. I remember that because it was part of the Cactus Fruit Day, which will be like a national holiday at this point. I can only, I can only expect. Tim Beam, welcome. All right, so we do have some grass and stuff here. Let's, let's let me let me take care of that. Man, I really just I didn't realize I didn't have enough gold for for a seed maker, but you know what? It's fine. I have faith. We have when we do get this seed maker going, there's a ninety-seven point five percent chance that the that we will get cactus seeds. So. Let's all collectively just appreciate that and realize that it's not a guarantee, but it's about as close to a guarantee as you can expect. Compared to the other odds that we've been up against so far in this challenge, I think I think we'll be all right with the seed maker, but you never know, I suppose. You just never know. And it needs to be a very special seed maker. Otherwise, I would just use one of the ones down by the greenhouse, but they're all contaminated with blue jazz uh, pollen, and we don't want to risk anything here. Better than the one in 540. Exactly right. Exactly right. Are we going to sleep till it grows? I mean, probably, yeah. We're probably just going to have to, like, 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 cause like, this, I'm so at a loss for what to do right now. I'm just like, <laughs> do I run around and get another, do another run at garbage cans? No, I mean, I mean, I should run down to the beach and actually check for artifact spots cause we're still waiting on our ornamental fan. Real quick. All right. Hey, we got something out of it. <laughs> you can go around chatting. I mean, we're already best friends with the uh, with everybody in town. We don't need to chat anybody up anymore. I, I should maybe go thank Haley, I guess. Go mine some gold. I probably should mine some gold. You're absolutely not wrong about that. I'm not going to worry about getting crystallarium resources tonight because we got bigger fish to fry than that right now. But uh, that is a good point because we are basically out of gold. If another cactus root came out, Haley did in fact put it there, yeah. I mean, there's only there's only two people that could have put it there, and I mean, one of them's probably more likely than the other, realistically, but I don't know. How are you doing, girl? You need to find some kind of hobby other than shopping? She wants to expand her horizons? 
Maybe I should learn to uh, expand horizons. Is that like code because she wants to go out to Ginger Island where there's new horizons? So she gave us the cactus root so we can open up that that path for her. Hmm. Puts on tinfoil hat. At any rate, I'm. I need. I need my. I need my gold bar. I need my gold bar to be ready. I'm stubborn to the to the bitter end. I, I want I want a special seed maker for this. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and put this off. We're gonna put off the seed maker, probably until t we'll make the seed maker tomorrow, and we'll just like go mine some gold for right now, just so we have some on hand. I'm not gonna mine like a a, a dramatic amount, but we do want to mine like a decent amount. I'm also just like carrying this cactus fruit around, which is probably not smart, but I can't let it go. I can't let it out of my sight or else it might disappear. So let's uh, let's just be careful with it. I understand it is very, very, very valuable cargo. I'm not about to accidentally eat it or something. Need a change for Ginger Island. That's true too. I mean, we need to find a new outfit for ourselves for Ginger Island. I've got some ideas for ways we could go with that. But I'm open to messing around as well. Cactus fruit is Argon's baby. Right now it is. This cactus fruit, I mean, we're going to have plenty more in the future after we get our cactus seeds under control. But for right now, this thing is literally, like, it's, it's more valuable than anything else in the game. I would throw away every prismatic shard I've ever collected in my life for to, to preserve this cactus fruit. And that's no lie. That is no lie in, in the slightest, not even any kind of exaggeration. Alright, I don't know why there's, like, wood in here, but that's okay. Alright, I'll, I'll just get, like, up to, like, 30 gold ore. I think that's probably a reasonable spot to stop. Because I don't, I don't want to, like, belabor this point too much. I just want to make sure I have a decent amount of gold to fall back on if I need it. For whatever odds and ends, like the, like the one that we've run into right now. And then we'll, uh... Then we'll head back home, see if the gold bar is ready, and then if not, we'll probably just like, go to sleep. <laughs> Would you betray your family for the cactus fruit? I mean, Chloe might. I probably wouldn't, because I mean, it's it's a video game at the end of the day. But <laughs> yeah, let's not go too crazy now. Okay, I'm happy with where I'm at here. Let's just go ahead and head on back. I, know, I never know how long gold needs to, to smelt, but it's ready, okay? It's ready. I don't think we risk it today, though, because we've already have, like, we've done some wandering around stuff today, and we don't want to risk having to reset this day specifically. So what I'm going to do is I'll take this, I'll put this stuff away, put these three away. All right, and this is what we need. This is everything we need to have a great day tomorrow. All right? Let's make it happen. It'll also be Egg Festival, so, I mean, there's that. So, like, I was... We'll, we'll pick the coffee. It's, I mean... Cactus Fruit might be a once-in-a-lifetime event, but you can't, uh, you can't forget to do your daily chores. I'm not gonna be snoozing on that. Alright, let's go. Let's freaking... Let's, let's craft the Seed Maker. We might as well today. Craft it. Let it get acquainted with its surroundings. Here you go. We're off to bed. All right. Yeah, okay. All right. Now, I'm not gonna... I've already belabored it far too long. I've, I've led you guys on long enough. This is our time. Cactus fruit? Don't fail me now. I need... Anyone who's got... Put your cactus emojis in chat. Argon cactus, whatever you can. Whatever you can to infuse this with good cactus seed energy. Hit it with hit me with it now. This is this is our time. Three, two, one, go. Alright. 97.5% chance. Can we make it happen? <laughs> that's, a, that's a burden off my mind. That's two cactus seeds for the price of one cactus fruit. 
we made it. We, we surpassed the final obstacle to get to unlimited cactus fruit, basically. Takes 12 days to mature and then produces a fruit every three days. It is a regrowing fruit. That is very, very, very nice. I also saw uh, Chaos Stripe. Thank you for the $10 super chat. I said I would return, and so I have. Congrats. Now let me make a very important note for you. Be sure to sell something when you go to Ginger Island. Otherwise, passing out might not be reversible. That's honestly a great call out, and I will try my best to remember to do that. Thank you very much. It is a regrowing crop. Yeah, thankfully. So we only technically needed one cactus seed at the end of the day, but uh, the more the merrier as far as I'm concerned. So let's go ahead and go to our... So here's the question. Greenhouse or garden pots? What do you guys think? Should we, do we want them in the house so we can like keep an eye on them and just know that they're like they're ready? Or or do we go to the greenhouse and start filling it out? Let me let me make a poll for that really quick just cuz uh, let's see. Which where should we grow it? Actually, I'm not even going to make a poll. Every, literally everybody is saying garden pots, so I n like never freaking mind. <laughs> you guys have spoken loud and clear. 100% garden pots. We don't need the poll. Let's get some garden pots, shall we? All right, refine quartz, clay, and stone. I can make that happen. I'm also no longer at a risk of, uh, of eating the cactus fruit by mistake, so we're good on that front. You cannot eat cactus seeds. I mean, you, you could, but... At least not in this game. <laughs> Alright. Find quartz, clay, stone. Let's get her done. Put that all away. I will grab the deluxe retaining soil so they just stay watered forever. Grab a watering can. Quickly water Timby while I'm here. What cactus seeds taste like? I mean, that's a great question. I've never eaten cactus in any capacity, I'm pretty sure, so... Alright, right here, right, so we can see them, like, right away, right away when we wake up. Cactus, cactus. Deluxe retaining soil. Good to go. Alright. Refill my watering can real quick here. And now we just wait. Am I able... I'm not able to do uh, speed grow and deluxe retaining soil on one thing, am I? Because I could, I could speed grow that and make it come, like, a little bit faster than the 12 days. But I'm not sure that that's possible. And now a 12-day sleep. I mean, we got you got to do the egg festival, right? Unfortunately, no. Yeah, no speed growing. All right. Fair enough. I mean, we're here. I've never, I've yet to miss a festival. I'm probably going to miss some when it gets to Ginger Island time. But for right now, we still need to do, uh, we still need to do it as far as I'm concerned. Give Chloe rest. She knows there's no rest until perfection is had. I mean, we, we're probably going to sleep a lot more in these coming 12 days than we have recently. But we are going to, we are going to still do our, at least this chore right now. I'll probably, hi I'll probably hibernate after this. I won't check the crystallariums. Every day, obviously, because that would just get uh, kind of inane and ridiculous, especially since we have real progress at foot. Or at hand, I suppose. But since they're here, I might as well at least uh, take care of business. Alright. Jade's good. I mean, the Jade Supply is looking healthy as ever. Let's head into town. And let's, qu let's quickly grab a world record in the in the egg hunt. And then we'll just head on home. Looking forward to the flower dance. Me too. Me too. I think I think we'll have to do. I think we'll end up doing the flower dance before the uh, egg festival or before the cactus fruit comes around too, right? Exclamation point! No more trash. Yeah, the, the the more trash command has been deleted. It's gone. Not even possible to use it anymore. All right. Is the lag happening for y'all too? Hopefully, there's no lag. I think. I mean, let me check OBS real quick. I do have 1,600 dropped frames, but I think hopefully that's ironing itself out. I'll, let me know if any lag persists. Um, but yeah, that's, that shouldn't be happening. I don't know why that's happening like that. No lag for you. Maybe it was just at the start of the stream. The stream I don't know. But just let, just let me know if, it, uh, if anything persists like that. Anyway. 
onward with the highlight of today's festivities. Uh, you can't call this the highlight of today's festivities, Lewis. That's my line. And it's, not, it's definitely not the Egg Festival. But you know what? We'll appreciate it while we're here. No lag, but some buffering. I, I, what are you trying to do, Blade? Oh, you're trying to... You don't need, uh, if you want to do that, you would need to no exclamation point before the ad, and then you should be good. You just do the same message, and then that should work, I think. All right. Is everyone ready? I'm, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. You guys don't even know. Let the egg hunt begin. Incoming 18 eggs. No big deal. Quickly grab one of those. Sneak on down here. Grab that one. Gonna be, gonna be cracked real quick. Eat. I'm not going to say that I practiced before the stream, but I'm not going to not say that either. Not, I mean, I didn't, I literally didn't practice before the stream because I didn't have any time. But I may or may not have looked up a different route just, you know, to, to maximize fun time. That's, that's our beloved Mona, but we don't, uh, I mean, it's very sad and unfortunate, but we don't, it doesn't matter in this current moment. Out of my way, Jazz. All right, here we go. This might be a new a new moon record for us at least. We'll see. My cat, my cat wants to be part of the show as well. I don't know don't know if you heard her loud meow right there. Incoming 16 eggs? 16? Not quite. All right. 15 eggs is pretty good though. I mean, it's it's not bad. 15 15 is as is about as good as I can hope to get probably. <laughs> The winner of this year's egg hunt? I mean, there's, there's, was there ever any doubt in anyone's mind? It's Chloe. 100%. Egg cat. <laughs> Did you guys hear her in the background there? She made quite, quite the, quite the boisterous meow. What, you, are you all right there, Minu? Oh, she's just settling in. She does that sometimes where she'll make a little, a little sound when she settles in. All right. Um, let's go to bed. Nothing else, nothing do. And Tim Beeb is already in bed waiting for us. I appreciate that. Here we go. More menu content, please. Okay. Um. So I am gonna like sleep the days away here. But before I do that, I think we, I, let's let's quickly change outfits, shall we? Because we're out of our we're officially out of our garbage arc right now. I think it's time to hang up the garbage hat. All eleven of them. And let's let's just you know. Let's just be who we are right now. I'm gonna go ahead... For the time being, this will probably change when we go to Ginger Island, but... What do you guys feel about just like a little... little default Chloe? Where it all started, baby. Except like leprechaun shoes, I guess. The green tunic? I think it's a good fit right now. Please, I'm buffering constantly. Let me double check that OBS is still... It, it's, it hasn't dropped any more frames, so hopefully it's not on my end. YouTube's giving me the green light, so I'm gonna hope for I'm gonna hope for the best. All right. Never time to hang up the garbage cat. I should have known you that would bring you out of uh, out of lurk them leap. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, by the way. Hello. Space boots. You know what I should do? What I what I actually should do because I do like the leprechaun shoes and I want to keep them around. But the space boots are our best stat wise. Should I transfer these stats to Leprechaun Shoes? How so many garbage hats? Ah, I mean, we've been searching many, me we've been searching garbage cans for the past six years. Oh, it would, I would be surprised if we had any fewer than this, quite frankly. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm not using these space boots most of the time anyway, because the purple is a little too gaudy for me. It doesn't quite match the flow. So what we're gonna do, we just go ahead and take these over here, and we should be able to do this, right? Make some custom tailored leprechaun shoes, possibly the longest name for any item in the game right there. The buckle's made of solid gold. I think I can do that. Oh, I, I, wait. Oh, I hit, the, I hit this button. I, I can't just take them for free. I can't just, <laughs> infinite, infinite item glitch discovered. All right, there we go. And we're off to bed. We're just sleeping until these cacti grow. My precious babies. You are everything to me right now, okay? Let's do it. 
Go to sleep for the night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have one garbage cat? <laughs> what garbage cat? You have one garbage hat in six years? I also forgot to pick that, apparently. It's fine. Uh, but were you checking the gar all eight garbages every day for those six years? Or were you just checking them, like, passingly? Because, I mean... <laughs> if you were, then, I mean, that sucks that you don't only have the one garbage hat, but... My luck was not... <laughs> Maybe you have more cactus roots than I do, I don't know. Alright, hibernation time. It's a time, baby. I'm not worrying about the crystallariums. I'm not worrying about the jade. I'm only... All my concern is in these two little green nubs right here. Gonna be flooded with cactus seeds when doing the skull cavern dive for seeds. 100% true. <laughs> Alright. You, I did miss... I I slept right past Haley's birthday. <laughs> oh, I'm horrible! I'm horrible! After she gave us the cactus fruit and everything? I didn't even... Oh my... I mean... No watering Tim Beeb either. I, it's a mess. It's a mess of ungodly proportions. No, no, rip, reset. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. We'll make it up to her. We, we will, I promise. She understands. I think I think that's kind of where I'm at too, Zaniela. I think she, I think she would understand the position that Chloe's in right now, the mindset that she's in. I think I think it's an understandable oversight, and we'll we'll definitely make it up to her. So these, these things happen. These things happen. Now she's just laying it on thick. As a little girl, I always dreamed that I would one day climb the summit with my true love and share a kiss. Haley, <laughs> delete the file. I mean, <laughs> no, 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 never, never. All right, uh, right, let's go to bed. Yeah. I don't think I'm missing anything else of dramatic importance. We will ha we do have the flower dance coming up. Normally, I, I think about a, uh, a new outfit for that. But for right now, I think we just gotta. <laughs> we'll go to the flower dance. Don't get me wrong, but I think we're just gonna make it, let it let it be as it is. All right, off to bed once more. Those cacti—they're coming in strong. They're coming in hot. Look at—they're growing. They're on their way. Oh my god! It's I can't believe. We're actually gonna make progress. We're gonna finish the community center today. Has anyone internalized that? Because I sure sure as hell haven't. <laughs> like what? Not today is in today stardew today, but today is in today real today. I'm I, I I don't even know. I have the watering can in my hands. I'm I'm flustered beyond all belief. Send me, send me, send me to Friday. Just sleeping, just pure hibernation hours right now. This is all we need. Look, it's got a little arm already. Yo. What do you got for me? Some bread, you know what, I'll take it. Pickle jar rag slowly driving you to insanity. You just gotta learn to accept it, just to embrace it. Because it's, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Alright, go to sleep for the night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably get the gold clock today. That too. Yeah, we can get the gold clock. We can get two of the obelisks, I'm pretty sure. We're going to be in... I mean, we're, we're going to be spending a lot of money today. Is is the true facts. However, um... It's going to be worth it. There's a gold bar. Could have used that a few days ago, Clint, but it's all right. I forgive you. I got bigger things to worry about than your, uh, than you being a day late and a dollar short. Put that away. End game time. I mean, how many people do you think in the history of Stardew Valley players have been to Ginger Island before going to Calico Desert? I feel like we're going to be in a very exclusive club with this save file. Not only that, but we, we, we're we going to Ginger Island before we go to the freaking secret woods. Let that one sink in for a second.
I don't, I don't know, man. It's got to be, it's got to be a very small subset of people. Zero, zero, literally zero. <laughs> I did have a, uh, a horrible thought, like a horrible gut wrenching thought earlier today, but I'm not gonna say anything about it because I, that, that's as far as I'm gonna say about it. Is what I just told you, that I had the thought period. I'm not gonna, I don't want to speak something into being that I can't take back, but. It is on my mind, and I'll bring it up when it comes to pass. I'm pretty sure it, it's, there's nothing to worry about on the front that I'm thinking there is, but copper axe. You know what, copper axe. It's it's a good uh, it's a good motto. It's the motto we live by. The copper axe of wellness. Well, quick wellness check. Say it, nerd. <laughs> I can't leap. You're not gonna, you're not gonna bully me. You're not gonna peer pressure me into saying it. All right, go to sleep for the night. Yes, let's go. Almost there. We are so close. Look at these cacti. They are in full bloom just about. Cactus fruit 2.0. Could you imagine if you couldn't grow cactus fruit with a uh, with a seed maker and stuff and we had to actually get 10 cactus fruits from garbage cans? And we got the first one after <laughs> six years? <laughs> Thank God that that is actual functionality that exists. Thanks. Big ups to Concerned Ape for adding that one in, because cactus seeds have not always been in the game. Um, go to sleep for the night? Yes, and then we got Flower Dance tomorrow. Alright. Pluck the coffee plants. Put a few in the kegs. Holy heck, get knocked out of my literal socks and chair by, Lane, by Elaine's $200 super chat! I can't believe I missed the cactus fruit. All the best to you, Argon. Elaine, thank you so much for your constant and beautiful generosity. Um, can we get some Argon love in chat and Argon hype if you got it for, for Elaine? And for and honestly, for all the people who have done super chats. Like, we had a, a, a $100 super chat from Jeff on Friday. We had, like, a, a $50 super chat earlier today as well. It's... Yeah. it <laughs> From Creatrix, I'm pretty sure that one was. Yeah, that's... that's crazy. You guys are beyond, beyond generous, and thank you so much. It's... I literally have no words <laughs> that words that are... no words that are good enough to to describe it. Alright. Thanks for the battery pack, Pam. Those actually do come in handy from time to time, so we'll go ahead and pop all this away. And we'll, we'll get ready for our one last flower dance before Ginger Island. Because, uh... It is going to be a bittersweet send-off to Ginger Island, by the way, because obviously when we go to Ginger Island, we're not coming back for a while. Not until we're able to get like an island warp totem or preferably the, the materials for the island obelisk. We're going to be there for a while. We're going to have to say goodbye to Haley. We're going to have to say goodbye to Krobus. We're going to have to say goodbye to Timbeeb for who knows how long. We can't even get Krobus to like move in and watch over Timby for us until until after Ginger Island, so... It's, it's gonna be a sad moment, but... I I know, they'll, they'll all be waiting for us when we come back eventually. It's just gonna be a bit of a different feel without without them, without anyone familiar. I'm sure, like, don't get me wrong, Birdie and Leo and all them, they're great. They're, they'll be good friends, I'm sure, with us, but... Uh, show me an ornamental fan to make me feel a little better. Remember to pack the slingshot for Ginger Island. We did do some uh, practice runs for Ginger Island over on my Discord just last night. And uh, this, the slingshot is something that you need on Ginger Island for a Golden Walnut, but only for like one, right? And we don't need to get all 130 Golden Walnuts on our inaugural trip. We just need to get, uh, we need to get 31 in order to unlock the Island Farmhouse. And then from there, it's going to be a little more touch-and-go, I think. Garbage can days are really over. I know, I'm so used to going like a do a little doot and a little doot. But it's, no. Yeah, we don't we don't need to search the garbage cans anymore. At least not until we have the movie theater unlocked. Glad you had fun, Bazooka, at the, at the little uh, impromptu game night cactus fruit celebration thingamajig. 
You can set up a sprinkler for Tim's Beeb Tim Beeb's bowl so he doesn't dehydrate. It doesn't actually fill the bowl, but we'll do it in spirit, I think. We'll just have a, have a nice thing that Tim Beeb can put his mouth up to. You have, have you ever seen those videos of dogs going up to a sprinkler and they like, they're just like going full open mouth and like yapping and trying to bite the water basically out of the air. It's so cute. And that'll be Tim Beeb for us. My beloved, thank you. This is, this is, she has been the, she has a, confirmed been the, been the flower queen for the past five years. Guaranteed. Ask Haley be your dance partner. I think so. She'd love to. See, she's already forgiven us for accidentally sleeping through her birthday. <laughs> Let's do it. Honestly, I feel like in if this was, like, real, there's a good chance that Chloe might have actually slept through Haley's birthday there because she's so dang exhausted from having searched literally thousands of garbage cans over the course of almost 500 days in a row. <laughs> And she just needed to sleep for, like, 48 hours straight. Flower Queens, absolutely true. Didn't dress up for the dance? It's alright, we're still recovering from our cactus root high. All other things kind of fall by the wayside right now. At least we remember to show up to the dance. <laughs> alright. It's beautiful, it's taken care of. Let's put the clay away. And be on our way, shall we? Is it tomorrow? Is tomorrow cactus day? Does the cactus fruit land tomorrow? 12 days, we planted it on the 13th. Seems, checks out to me. Let's see it. Ah. <gasps> Do you see what I see? Those are some beautiful cactus fruits. We have two, we have a gold star cactus fruit. It was our first cactus fruit we picked. Holy heck. It's amazing and beautiful and everything I dreamed it would be. Well, now we have a renewable source forever of cactus fruits. It's, it's gonna become a, it's like we're gonna we're gonna get like a stack of cactus fruit. The gold cactus fruit. One needs to be a shirt. I'm with you on that one, honestly. I'm with you on that one. We def we did uh we did pl mess around with turning a cact because we okay so here's the deal. We got two cactus fruit, right? Seed maker. We don't need to seed maker because they're really growing plants, and we don't need that many right now. We'll need more in the future for our actual de desert obelisk. But we don't have the coconuts for that. We need to go to Ginger Island and do that whole shebang before we even worry about that. Um, the main thing here is this. The community center. We need to finish up this bad boy. So I think you commit one of these to the community center. And you commit one of them to a new shirt. Because we did test out what the cactus fruit shirt looks like. And... It's it's pretty good, honestly. It's it's a very fitting shirt, I think, for for Chloe here. I think it's a good look. So, do we go go? I think we save the gold one for the community center. I think I think it's deserving, and we'll just use this one right here for a lovely little cactus shirt. We got the '80s shirt. It's a gnarly T-shirt that sits off the shoulder, probably literally gnarly with all those spines in it. That's very cute. It is very cute, honestly. We have some shorts that'll maybe, that'll maybe go with this nicely. It kind of looks like we're wearing like rubber boots or something with these things, but you know what? We'll, we'll we'll rock it. We'll rock it for a little bit here. This might be our Ginger Island affair. I'm not entirely sure yet. Radical bro, indeed. Gives surfer signal, waves hand, tubular man. All right. Who the heck would mail me on this most uh, amazing of days? It's Robin. We'll forgive her. Let's go do it. We're here. We're, we'll have to deal with this later eventually as well. We're gonna we're gonna be doing some fish pond shenanigans later today. So uh we'll handle that in a bit. But for right now, it's time. Let's carry it proudly above our heads and march on into Pelican Town here. This community center has been wanting for a single cactus fruit for so long now 
And finally, it's finally time to bring it home. Let's just see, like, like, look at how, like, this isn't quite too bad, but it's, I mean, it's, it's worse than it realistically should be. All right, Junimos. Let's make some magic happen. He's waiting. Do you see him? He's waiting. He's bouncing. He's so excited. It's time to complete this picture. Die bundle. Cactus fruit. Last piece of the puzzle. Bundle complete. Quickly gra- <laughs> How fitting. How utterly fitting. The last bundle, farewell, Chloe. There it goes. That's six whole stars. The community center is complete. And so is this challenge. No, that's that's a different video. This challenge is far from complete. Goodbye, goodbye. The Junos have returned to the spirit world. They're still with us here. It's all good. It's all good. Quickly, just enjoy just enjoy the music. This is such a great song, and you so rarely get to hear it. Let's just, like, take a quick stroll around real here, and just, you know... After you complete the community center, you honestly don't spend that much time here. You, like, you, there's not a huge amount of reasons to come back, so let's just take a stroll, take a tour of... The hard work, we've waited so long for this, we're relishing in the moment. And I, I mean, we have a whole cutscene tomorrow to look forward to as well, but... The song hits, pretty, hit, hits different, it really does. That vault, that was, a, that was a key part of our whole plan here. Oh my gosh, I'm just... <laughs> I feel so sentimental today, I love this. I love this so much. Music really does make you want to cry, honestly, yeah. Uh, I'm right there with you. Alright. Time to move on. We have other things to do. That's that's only piece one of a multi-layered journey here. We we've just knocked over the first domino of a sea of dominoes. It's like one of those YouTube videos where they sh it's just goes it's just gonna go. We're just going now. We're just gonna go. Is this your first time finished in the community center? It is not. I finished it several times in the past, including during a no level up challenge video. But uh <laughs> this is definitely the hardest I've worked for the community center, I would say. Even including that no level up challenge video. Little honorary seed maker right there. Let's go. Argon, please, stomach bag. <laughs> I don't know I don't know what this means. Alright. Off to bed. Off to bed. And then we do the whole rigmarole all all over again tomorrow. Go to sleep for the night? Yes. I don't think that you have to wait for a certain time in order to see the community center cutscene here. I think we can literally just, like, go and do it. Oh, here we go. Dear Chloe, everyone in town has been talking about your generosity lately. Apparently packages have been appearing in people's houses containing items they posted about years ago on the community center bulletin. And the packages are all addressed from your farm. Thanks again for going out of your way to do something like that. All of us in town are really delighted. Mayor Lewis. Very heartwarming, honestly. I wish the same could have been said for me. I wish I could have woken up and just had a cactus fruit at my doorstep, but I guess, you know, it's kind of a weird, vicious cycle that we were trapped in. But you know what? I'm, I'm happy to do my part. All the villagers of Pelican Town, they all have their, their pros and cons. They've done their best to, you know, 
keep me in good spirits throughout this whole big long grind. It was time to pay them back. Rip stomach bag. Oh, you you guys are talking about stomach bag because Joe Jamar's about to shut down, huh? <laughs> you wanted one last look at the stomach bag? Too bad. Too late. There it goes saying that you don't ever hear this music and then we just get to hear it in two days in a row. <laughs> Quickly skip the cutscene. <laughs> Not gonna happen. No, we got it. We're, we're, we're cherishing this one for all that it's worth. I always just have the dumbest smile on my face during this cutscene. Like I don't, I don't get, I don't get to see this one that often in like actual, real play like this. So it's just always so makes me feel so goofy and happy and oh, I love it. I love it. Bye bye, Joja. Couldn't have said it better myself, Elaine. <laughs> I'm not sure how you did it, Chloe, but the community center has never looked better. Yeah, I'm not sure how I did it either, Lewis. I'm not sure how I'm still sane after that endeavor, but we we made it. We made it. It's a way of saying thank you. I'd like to present you with the town's greatest honor, the Stardew Hero Award. You've earned it. Let's say that again. There it is. See the Stardew Hero Trophy. And then here we go. All right. The real show. This is what everyone's been waiting for. Sales have been plummeting. Where are all my customers gone? Maybe you stop using the word stomach bag on your merchandise. I feel like I haven't seen Morris in literally forever. <laughs> I, I didn't recognize his sprite hardly. All my customers here? Ooh. My face when I find the cactus fruit? This isn't good. How does it feel? Ooh, cutting deep there, Pierre. I mean, there's only one way this can go, right? This means nothing. I'll just run a 75% off sale and all my customers will come crawling back to me for begging for forgiveness. You'll see. Yeah, no. <laughs> no shot. This is what you get, Morris. This is it's everyone's been waiting for this moment for so long. How do you propose we do that? Little fisticuffs? Settle it like they do in the old times? You're too scared to fight and bring one of your coworkers. You, uh, don't make no, don't fight Sam or Shane. No. <laughs> I'm sure they already quit. Don't you dare slander the good name of Joja, you corporate shill. You get what's coming, honestly. Good stuff, good stuff. You like it better without the fight? I kind of do too, honestly, but I mean, the people were begging for it. I'm not one to, <laughs> to deny them. The way you throw punches just like Joja. Quantity over quality. I love that line. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Get him out of here. Get sent. Absolutely demolished. We find him lying in a puddle of his own blood on Ginger Island later. <laughs> that might have been a little too far, I'm sorry. But, you know what? You gotta get in the spirit of it sometimes. Morris and his Joja Mark cronies were never <laughs> heard from again. Big yikes. And the Stardew Hero Trophy just ch casually chilling over our head. Where the heck do we put this thing? Oh my god, we gotta take it home with us? I mean, part of me wants to... It, kind of the tradition that I've always gone by is like, I kind of like leaving it with the community center. Like right about there. But I feel like since this is not the end of this challenge by a long shot, we got we, we can bring it home and, and at least revel in its beauty every so often. Next to the cactus fruit, honestly. I mean, it might not be, might not be a bad idea. Put it by the owls. We already have our uh, legendary seed maker that pulled out the cactus seeds by the owls, in and amongst the owls, but I could be persuaded. For right now, let's just go ahead and, um, you know what? I mean, right next to the cactus fruit. 
We might be able to find a better shrine of a spot for it later on. This is kind of humdrum, but we're, I think it's... I think it's fitting. I think it's fair. They've... The cactus fruit, you know what? You did it. We made it. We made it. The train station? Am I able to just go up to the train station now? I thought I had to wait a day for the for the train station cutscene. I will I will go check it out though. I will I will gladly go check it out. Because I mean we might as well we might as well get the show on the road. If we're going in, we're going in. You know what? I should I should bring my I should bring my fishing rod and stuff, shouldn't I? Because I need to yeah, okay. I think I think that's the play if this is if we're actually doing this, let's get the fishing rod. Let's get things ready to go here. Should just be open. All right. I am looking forward to it. All right, let, me, let me grab my fishing rod because we got a whole slew of, uh, of questies and new new areas that we're unlocking. And we got fish to fish and we got void mayonnaise to fish and things like that. When do we start teleporting around? Very soon, Luke. Very soon. We're going to have access to pure teleportation goodness. We're also about to spend like 75 to 80 percent of all the money that we're ever gonna spend in this challenge in like one fell swoop so get ready for that <laughs> where am i going I'm, I'm i'm so flustered sewer first bring the sword i should have brought the sword you're right about that but i think you, you gotta go train station first because then you find the wizard he tells you about things then you go to the sewer you talk to krobus he does his thing i think i think it's been a while since I've done this, but I'm fairly certain that that's the order. Order of operations. I think you mean 95%? I was thinking specifically of the gold clock, but I guess if you factor in all the obelisks and everything, it probably is closer to like 95%, yeah. There it is, just like that. New journal entry, ready to go. So let's, let's see what that new journal entry is all about, shall we? All together now. I've been waiting for you. Couldn't you have done this, like, at any point in the last six years, please? Why do we have to wait for right now? Have I ever told you I used to be married? I literally don't care. Just open the gate, please. <laughs> the people have been waiting so long. I don't need your backstory, dude. Do you see Do you see the pain in these eyes for having searched almost 5,000 garbage cans? My wife and I were together for so many years until I made a mistake that drove her away. I don't know what kind of mistake you could have made. I managed to maintain a healthy and happy relationship with Haley over the past six years while doing literally nothing but sleep and search through trash, like literal trash. You must have you must have really messed up, dude. Now it is un now it must be unsealed for when we separated. She took my magic ink, and this is why you fail because you care more about the magic ink than you do about her. I mean, I'm, I'll help you because I need to, but I mean, for shame, honestly. In order to unseal this passage, you'll need a dark talisman. Talk to Krobus in the sewer. He should know where to find one. All he knows is that his name means bridge crosser in his language. I kid. We, we poke fun at Krobus because we love him. He keeps an eye on your mailbox and waits until you get a specific mail. Oh, hey. <laughs> she was eavesdropping and everything, too. All right, down we go. Let me go grab the uh, my sword so that we're ready for the mutant bug layer. How are you doing there, Linus? Learn a lot from trees. I don't doubt it. I spent a lot of time with the uh, with the hardwood trees on my farm. I don't think I'm quite as in touch with nature as Leapalot is after all his uh, his ventures in the wilderness, but. Maybe after maybe after seclusion on Ginger Island for who knows how long we'll be in we'll be in different standings. Did I like what did I put away in here? Did I put my watering can away or something? Oh my fishing rod, I need that. All right, I do. I'll, yeah, I'll keep all of this right now. Love the flowing hair from Chloe. It's been a, it's been a while since we've seen her with her hair down for any prolonged period of time. I missed it. I did. I, I am not afraid to admit it. I don't mind short hair Chloe, but I mean, she like she rocked that trash can hat for so long. She's gonna have the worst like hat hair for <laughs> for at least a few months. I would have to imagine. 
Can you go fishing, please? Just slow your roll there, Zombo. We're getting there. We're gonna we're gonna get there. You're gonna fish for the slime jack and void salmon. I think that I mean I de I'm definitely gonna be fishing at least like tangentially for the void salmon because we need void salmon for for many things. But I also need to fish up the void mayonnaise in order to even like do do this quest, right? So. All right, Krobus, help. Can you help a girl out? It's been a while since we've talked, I know, but... Oh, it's Friday, though. He's not silent as a sign of devotion to Yoba. It's, this is a bigger this is a bigger cause, the Dark Talisman. Now that you mention it, I did have one in my possession not too long ago. Unfortunately, I dropped it while exploring that tunnel in the far corner. He's got, like, a lot to explain. He's, oh, he sealed the entrance. I didn't even, I didn't even realize that Krobus had sealed the entrance. He's like, you seem pretty sturdy, though. I'll just open it back up for you. We could have just asked this whole time to open- This whole time we could have done this? Robus, My guy. And then he's just quiet. He's got nothing more to say about it. Hello, by the way. I never get to say hi to you, but I, we're never going to use you, but you are cute. Alright. Mutant bug layer? Let's quickly- We might- We might as well. We got our fishing rod right here. What's the- What are the odds of a slime jack? It, they can't, I don't think they're like that hard to come by, right? Might as well do this before like we start getting swarmed by bugs. Because I know slime back, slime jack is not the only thing you can get here. Like I'm pretty sure this is a carp. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know fully how rare they are, but I feel like like. In times past, when I fished for slime jacks, it's not a memorable experience. You're just in and you're out. So we should be all right. Sturdiness is only reached by finding a trash can cactus fruit. Yeah, you gotta pre test your metal. The secret lore is that everyone else in town already went through that journey, through that seven year long journey of self-discovery to find their own cactus fruit. And then, uh, and we're just the last one to join the club now. And that's why all this stuff is unlocking. It has nothing to do with the community center or anything. Blade broke. Blade does not like fishing. Confirmed. He's he's sleeping. This is an important part of perfection. Blade. We need all the fish we can get. I I do like that incarnation of the more trash command though. We have also lost exclamation point bet because it's no no longer applicable. We managed to get the cactus fruit before trash can five thousand, and as such, no fanfic in the near future, but maybe in the far future. Who knows? I don't doubt that I would like to open it up to potential bets in the future. Something smells earthy. Haley says. I mean, this this definitely screams earthy to me. This place. Slime Jack is not mission critical right now. I just feel like it's better to get it out of the way so we don't have to worry about coming back here later for it. Okay, this feels definitely different from a carp, so I'm pretty sure this has to be the Slime Jack because I don't think there's any other fish that are here. Yeah, there it is. All right, cool. <laughs> Iridium quality Slime Jack real quick. Don't mind if I do. Let's go and take care of business for real here. This is what we actually came for. Let me get uh, this under control. You stay out of my face. Dwarf Squirrel 4? Isn't that like a 0.1% chance? <laughs> Excuse me? I kill one bug in here and I get Dwarf Squirrel frickin' 4? Not that it matters. There's our Dark Talisman. Found the Dark Talisman. My inventory is full though. It's covered in bug slime. Great. Fantastic. Alright. Business taken care of. Dark Talisman acquired. Let's go uh, continue with our sojourn. Which is swamp is actually much more important to us than than, this, than the mutant bug layer, but like by a huge margin. It's gonna be uh, here. I'm gonna actually let me get rid of a bunch of this stuff. I don't really need any of this. We'll keep the slime jacks just for posterity. Uh, get rid of this and all this and all this. It's fine. Argon, argon. What what do we got? Is is there something I need to need to worry about? Hello, Haley. Need to find some kind of hobby other than shopping. 
You want to go swimming? I, I know an island you can go to. Void Mayo? Void Mayo is incoming, yes. We, we will be able to get ourselves a Void Mayo from the Witch's Swamp. That is an important part. But not until we start the Goblin Problem quest. So we need, the, we need the Void Mayo, we need the Void Salmon, because Void Salmon Fish Pond is our way to get Void Eggs, and Void Eggs are a gateway to more cooking. We also just need Void Eggs in general for, for shipping and stuff. So we'll take care of that. We need at least the one the one Void Salmon. We need two, technically, or we need a gold quality one for, uh, for the missing bundle. But for right now, get this Baba Yaga thing out of my face. Off it goes. Do you think there's any fan fiction about where that thing goes and the many journeys that it that ensue? I'd read it. All right, welcome. <laughs> it's it's so weird seeing all these new sites. Gwee-ha. Do you want to pass? I'm sorry, this is private property. But he is hungry, so now I don't have I don't have to read the book about void mayo in order to like know that that's what I have to do, right? It just has to exist. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. All right, so we got Void Mayo that we can give to him, but I don't think I want to give it to him yet, right? We want to take this Void Mayo. I'm pretty sure what you have to do is this. You can only fish up Void Mayo. I looked this up beforehand because I was concerned about this exact thing. You can only fish up Void Mayo when um, when you don't have it in your inventory. So we'll go. It's, it's on the ground. Let me let me put it in a better spot that we can actually see. We're gonna go ahead and throw it on the ground over here. And then we can fish up another one. So that we can give one to him and we can ship one away. I think that's the play. So we can fill it. Because, I mean, we'll get Void Eggs regardless from Void Salmons. But we might as well, you know, might as well min-max while we can. We need to keep fishing for Void Salmon anyway, so... Why did you remove the ring? I took it off briefly in order to uh, in order to decrease my magnetism, so I could throw the void void mail on the ground without it just coming back into my inventory instantly. All right, so that's that, and now we just uh, we fish for the void salmon. I'm very happy to hear that, uh, Nova Epona. <laughs> that's very that's very kind words. Thank you so much for uh, for. Continuing to catch up on the VODs and everything, and enjoying the content. I appreciate it. Hope you get caught up and get to join us live for one of these. Alright, so this should be Void Salmon, if my intel is to be believed. Uh, can you catch anything else here? I mean, actually, you might be able to catch, like, Catfish or something. But that's a Void Salmon regardless. It's a gold quality one to boot. Uh, I'm not going to worry about catching any more than that for right now. We'll just go ahead and send it. And here you go, buddy. Sniff, sniff, that smell. <laughs> That's the cutest damn face I've ever seen. I can't resist. Give me that. Strange bun recipe. I do need void mayonnaise for that as well. You're not wrong, but we can make we can make void mayonnaise in the future. It's fine. All right. Well, that takes care of that. Then we got magic ink. But it's all just coming. It's all falling into place. It's all happening. All right. We also have these. Which, like, Dark Shrine of Selfishness, we don't need to worry about. Dark Shrine of Memory, don't need to worry about. This one might be, like, to enable monster spawning on our farm. I think that's, like, good for us, right? If we want to get if we want to get serpents to drop, like, a rabbit's foot. We can also wait until Skull Cavern for that. So I'm not super concerned about it. For right now, the bone is probably covered in bacteria. You decide not to touch it. Wise. Wise indeed. Curse the Countryside, a spellbook for the rural witch. How oddly specific. Anyway, we're off to the wizard's place. Progress in this game? That exists, I know, right? Hello, this is everyone's favorite character in Stardew Valley. It's a face that only a mother could love, surely. Here we go. You found my ink! Now, yeah, this is this is where things start to get real for us. This is This is what we're actually in it for. Did you happen to see my ex-wife? Dude, you're, get over it. You didn't even go and, like, get this yourself? You sent some... I'm, I'm the crony you sent? Don't even worry about it. Get out of here. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. Yeah, you, and you can go ask her yourself if you're so concerned. I'm not about to be your, your wingman here. I got bigger fish to fry.
There we go. It's a book of summoning. The arcane potential is immense, but I need 10 million gold to make it happen. By using this book, you can summon magic buildings directly to your farm for a price. I think you'll find it useful. And awfully greedy. Oh, I also forgot, I almost forgot to say, ahem, uh -huh, thank you. That's it? Uh, uh, thank you? Thank you? No, no discount? Maybe he did give me a discount. Maybe 10 million is discounted. Never thought of it that way. All right. Well, we're here. We don't have the materials for the obelisks, but we do have the materials for for one thing in particular. Argon Greed, it's time. It's time. Junimo Hut, no thank you. Earth Obelisk, Water Obelisk. Okay, okay. I can speak now on what I was worried about. I was very legitimately concerned earlier today that for whatever reason there might be some check as to whether you've been to the desert before, before you would be able to build the desert obelisk. I can see now that that is not a factor, and I knew in my heart that it wouldn't be a problem, but I would have been absolutely crushed if we weren't able to build the desert obelisk until we went to the desert one time, after all that time. <laughs> Could you have imagined the absolute pain? Anyway, um, <laughs> we don't have to worry about it now, so it's fine. It's all good. Gold clock. Everyone calls it the golden clock, but it's called a gold clock. It prevents debris from appearing on your farm and keeps princes from decaying and shows that you have too much time on your hands. Quite literally. All right, this is the single big biggest purchase by a by several orders of magnitude that we're ever going to make in this challenge, but this is indeed a requirement for, for, for perfection. So, let's do it. Now the question becomes, where do you actually build it? Right? I mean... We do have a little island over here. Just put it in front of the shrine really quick, just block Grandpa off. Or do we, we could put it like up here? We could we could have like a little little obelisk island or something. How are we feeling? How are we feeling about that? Island clock, or we could put it like dead center. Not quite dead center, but that's you know what? I think the island is a nice place for it. Or would the island be a better place for the uh, for the island obelisk? <laughs> I don't know. We just gotta put it somewhere. That's all I know, because uh time is burning. Time is money. Center of the grass. Island clock. Pe the people are here for it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deny you any further. Here goes ten million gold. Say goodbye. We worked a long time for that money, but all spent in a single click. My money <laughs> No, how could you? I was married long ago. I I know, dude, I know. Absolute <laughs> big sad, but also big big happy. That was beautiful. Goodbye, gallers. The gold clock is officially ours. No more worrying about fences. No more worrying about random debris. I forgot you'd be here today. No more worrying about anything like that. The golden clock has come home to roost. Let's go have a look, shall we? And then I'll update my checklist and everything. More supply crates as well. Some banana pudding. Hey, we'll be able to make this on our own eventually. Like, pretty soon here, honestly. We're getting to that point. I can't... I still am having such a hard time believing that I'm actually, like, playing post-cactus fruit. <laughs> this is wild. This is so wild. There it is. The golden clock actually keeps, like, track of time, too. And somehow that's the least of its of its value. The train station mayo? Aw, oh, frick. <laughs> You're so right. I ate the cake. The void mayo? The void mayo? I totally forgot the void mayo. Uh, we can make it. We can make it. Shouldn't be a problem. We got, we got plenty of time left on our speed buff. We can do this. This is easy. Don't worry about it. I probably should have brought like a like a farm orc totem with me, but you know what? 
it, this will make it just a little bit more exciting. Thank you to Artemis for the five euro super chat. Congrats on the cactus fruit. I saw the VOD and was crying crying along with you. Cheers to a new era. That's I've, Thank you very much for the sentiment. I greatly appreciate it. There we go. And we're on our way back. It will stay there anyway. I didn't want to risk it, you know. I think the, it, like, it all despawns on like Saturday night, I'm pretty sure. But for right now, we might as well at least... We, we put it down for a reason. We might as well follow through. Isn't ship repair an overnight thing? We have to wait until uh, Willie sends us a letter at talking about the Ginger Island ship, I'm pretty sure, before we can worry about that. All right. Go ahead and throw these Omni Geodes in here. Put that away. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw the Void Salmon in here as a reminder. We don't need to do it right now, but it is going to be something that we're going to do eventually. Slime Jack, you can just... I, I mean, you're not really that special of a fish, but you can chill here for right now because we're probably only ever going to catch one of you anyway. We can sell the Void Mayo because we need that for shipping. That's what, we're, that's what we're doing with that. Am I right or am I right? And then... uh. Put this away. I'm just I'm I'm being very careful right now. I feel like I'm in a very volatile position where I could mess something up if I'm not thinking carefully enough about it. So let's go ahead and uh I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. We go to bed. No cactus cat no pickle jar rag playing? What is this? Alright. Off to bed. This was a very, very productive day. Let me actually, before before I seal the deal here, I'm going to go edit my totals for the price of perfection. Oh my god. This number in the description. I don't even have to change anything other than put 10 comma before it. $10,288,040 spent. Just like that. We just increase it by so damn much. It hurts, but it's it's a necessary evil. This much I know to be true. And the checklist, where's the golden clock? I can tell where it is because it's the biggest number in here. There it goes. All right. All right. It has been done. Argon greed, Argon greed. Go to sleep for the night? Yes. Just increase your total by nearly 40 times. Hey, at least we got some back, right? 385 from Avoid Mayonnaise? Could be worse. Wait, let's look, because we can actually look at it in the game thanks to this uh, fancy mod. <laughs> There's your total right there. Total spent. Big oof. Big oof. This is where this is where Matthew McCleskey goes to the soundboard and plays the oof sound effect from Roblox slowed down to about 50%. Very specific reference, I know, but I'm sure some of you will understand. All right. Uh, I don't think I... Wait, is this new? Fairy Stone? Fairy Stone is new. That's that's a that's a big one, too, honestly. I mean, any we, we have very little left for the museum at this point, so any minerals that are new are actually, like, very, very big for us. The Fairy Stone is here. All right, I'll take that. But even more importantly, even more importantly... Chloe, I've unlocked the back room of the shop. Come by whenever you have a chance. There's something I want to show you, Willie. Oh, by the way, Pierre's the general store is open seven days a week. We're never buying anything there ever again, though, so it doesn't matter for us. But you know what? It's it's good to know, at least. In case you want to shop at Pierre's, Chloe never will, but if you want to, it's it, the option is there. All right, let's go ahead and put away the Iridium Ore here. Um, so, bring all the stuff you need for the boat. That's a good call. Should I, I should go and buy the other obelisks too, right? The mountain and the island obelisk, right? Or not the island, but the mountain and the beach obelisk. The earth and the water obelisk, I suppose they're actually called. It's going to be an expensive day. It's going to be an expensive day materials-wise and money-wise. I think we can do that, though. So let's go ahead, and I'll just, I'm not going to put away... I'll put away all these tools for right now, because I don't need them. The hoe I'll keep in case of artifact spots. Then, we'll just bring hardwood. 
iridium. We need battery packs. So that's all Ginger Island stuff. The iridium also doubles for the obelisks because we need earth crystals. We need uh, coral. And we need clams. I think this is everything, right? Is this correct? Am I prepared for uh, for the time of my life today or what? I'm just going anyway, regardless, so. But the super cucumbers? The super cucumbers, I mean, they're, number one, they're sea cucumbers. If you're talking about the fish pond. Number two, uh, they are not long for this world right now. We'll probably come back to the, the sea cucumber fish pond eventually, but it is going to be transitioning here. All right, let's let's uh, let's quickly swing by the museum. Might as well donate this fairy stone while we got it. Clear up one inventory spot. Take care of business. Here you go, Gunther. We're getting there. We're getting very close to finishing this place. All right. Since you've completed the CC, you move the items in the museum. Since Sam has a new schedule there. Have you moved this? Oh, I've, I haven't touched anything in the museum. I, I mean, we just completed the community center literally like less than an hour ago, I'm pretty sure. So we're still we're still living in this. It's a very whirlwind thing right now that we got going on. It's, it's open 9 a.m. I thought this place was open 8 a.m. All right, we'll just wait it out, I guess. Besides the obelisks, do we have to make any other purchases? Uh, on Ginger Island, there will be a few, like crafting recipes and things. But uh, nothing top of mind right now. All right, let's head in. Back to the shop. Look at this thing. A sight for sore eyes. It's, it's all beat up and gross, but we, we, get, we, get, we came prepared today. A sad sight, isn't she? Not for long, my friend. Not for long. She was my father's boat. Served him well for over 50 years. Holy heck. Now she can barely stay afloat. <laughs> I mean, it is an expensive repair. I honestly can't be grudging for not getting it himself. He's probably got other things to worry about. Also need to get the ticket machine back up. This, this That's the part I don't understand. Why can't you just, like, sail without a ticket machine? But, you know what? <laughs> it's it's not my boat, I guess. It's like one of those rides that you find outside of Walmart where you gotta insert a quarter or else it just doesn't move. And then, like, it starts rocking back and forth slowly. And you're, like, when you're, like, five years old, it's kind of the greatest time of your life. But, uh, after that, it's, <laughs> it's a little silly. Serious question, don't you need at least another million? I don't think so, Jenga. I think we're good. All right, I'd like to help. Nah, I'll pass. Can you, like, lock yourself out of Ginger Island? Probably not. I'm gonna help, though. <laughs> I thought you would, miss. That's probably, like, a fake no option, right? I'll leave this door unlocked for you. You can drop off the materials whenever you like. How about right now? And I just throw them at his feet. Ooh, a little crab. A little crab friend. All right, see ya. All right. Donate five battery packs? I think I will. Donate 200 hardwood, child's play. How much hard? I still have 799 in this stack alone. Donate 5 iridium bars. I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. Wow. After how long it took the community center? To, we didn't even have to leave the room for this boat. The boat will be repaired overnight. Alright, I guess, I guess we have to leave the boat, leave the room for this part, but... In spirit, it's done. Do you have VR? I do not have VR, no. Not for a lack of wanting it, just for a lack of ambition to get it, I guess. Alright. Now we can charge our way on over to the wizard's place. We can drop by and say hello to Haley, because I feel bad about missing her birthday. Let's at least, you know, be a good person. Probably start exercising more. This youthful metabolism won't last forever. Great, great out, great outlook, honestly. Looking, looking forward, looking ahead to the future. I appreciate it. Lack of ambition is a lack of wanting. <laughs> I mean, you know what? When you say it like that, it almost sounds true. Because it probably is. Need bananas and dragon teeth for the obelisk. For the island obelisk, yes. For the uh, 
for the other obelisks here. Oh, oh my god, I'm, I have no tools. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tool, this fool. You gotta go the long way around here. Take the long way home. Am I ready for the Ginger Island run? I think I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. I don't know if Blade's still here, but when I do my final inventory check, hopefully he can help me out. If not, we'll just have to we'll just have to pray for the best. <laughs> and that my practice runs last night will have paid off. Alright, so a couple more big expenditures here. Five hundred thousand plus all this for the Earth Obelisk. Probably never gonna use this dang thing, but it is required for perfection. Let's like what if we just like stick it like up here in amongst the hardwood trees? That's kinda nice, right? I don't know if I like I don't know if I want to do like a dedicated spot for the obelisks. Like I could just like use like this spot and just like do a little like quadrant for them. But I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to make them each I kinda of like the idea of making each of them their own little abode. So let's do it. If I'm feeling it, let's let's just do it. Right there. The Earth Obelisk has been made. That's another five hundred thousand after ten million. This is just another drop in the bucket, honestly. This doesn't even uh, this doesn't even phase me. In fact, watch me do it again. Earth obelisk. I'm not gonna build a second one. Are you crazy? <laughs> can you build two, more, multiple obelisks? I guess you can, huh? All right, water obelisk. Let's do it. Each in separate areas is cool. Yeah, I feel like I always see people do them in like the same area, like a little warp hub, which is also a cool in its own right. But I honestly think that uh, having them in separate spots on the farm could be cool too. Uh, so, Water Obelisk. This seems like a nice little spot over here, maybe. We could, we, could, we could decorate it out a little bit more, but for right now, I think that's... It's, it's, it's beachfront property. Let's just make it make it happen. Kind of a weird spot. We'll get rid of that tree, no worries. And then, uh... That's it, huh? We don't have the things we need for anything else. Desert Obelisk, we'll get there eventually. Those ten coconuts and ten cactus fruit are forthcoming, amazingly enough. Alright. Let me go ahead and, uh, those were some more big expenditures. That's another million gold down the drain. I shouldn't say down the drain, really, because, I mean, it is it is money well spent. It's I mean, we are going for perfection. It had to happen eventually. But there you go, $11,288,040 spent. I will also do this. Let's see, Earth Obelisk right there. Water Obelisk right there. I've actually never built these things like in any playthrough, by the way. This was my first time doing that, which makes it kind of a milestone in that regard for me, but uh, hey, first time for everything, including first time to Ginger Island. I mean, it won't be technically my first time to Ginger Island, because like, like I said, I've done some practice runs to make sure that I'm somewhat well prepared for the task ahead, but the vast majority of Ginger Island is going to be blind for me. You know, Chloe is crying on the inside. She's grinding her teeth for sure. She's not happy about this situation. But the money had to be spent. We knew that going in. That's why we we shipped so much pale ale, so much ancient fruit wine for, ooh, HelloFresh, for literal years on end. And now we reap the benefits. We finally, finally reap the benefits. All right, put this away, put this away. Um, go ahead and throw that away. We still have more than a full stack of hardwood. Are you kidding me? All right, that, that, and that. And this, like so. Okay. So the boat to Ginger Island will be repaired tomorrow. It'll be repaired overnight, which means we can leave for Ginger Island tomorrow. Um, do we just leave for Ginger Island? I guess we're, like, done. Okay, well, here, here's the thing, okay? Here is what we have to do. Uh, this fish pond, right? Ooh, trains passing through Sardi Valley. I mean, I do like my trains. I already got the leprechaun shoes, though, so we're not going to worry about it right now because we got other things that we're focusing on. So the fish pond, I mean, maybe we worry about the fish pond when we get back from Ginger Island. Because I'm not about to wait around for to populate this fish pond with, like, void salmon and stuff. And this, it, 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 that just sounds boring. We will need to do, uh... I'm going to do a brief sturgeon fish pond and a brief 
and then and then pivot to void salmon fish pond for void eggs and then we'll probably come back to soup to sea cucumber fish pond eventually so i think uh but i think for now we just leave it as it is i'm not going to worry about that that's that's a that's a problem for future chloe and argon use your obelisk for the train i could i could use the mountain obelisk to, to go up to the train you're not wrong about that Yeah, what the heck? Let's go check it out. I'm just feeling so... I'm so anxious. I'm... It's, it's what it really boils down to, right? I'm just so anxious about the future here in Ginger Island and everything, and I just want to make sure that I'm doing this right, because we got to do it right. We've come too far now. We've come much, much too far to... to throw things away based on just, uh, you know... frivolous assumptions or guesses or... oversights or anything. By the way, Seb was here. Who do you think who do you think Seb is in this case? I can only hazard a guess. Do they really have train cars that are just like full of hay that's like completely unsecured like that? Isn't that hay all just gonna fly out at the slightest gust of wind? I don't know, man. What's with like what's with these open top things? Ooh, a bunch of magma geodes. Honestly, those are kinda clutch, cause uh we need some we need Helvet at some point. Fish them out to repopulate while you're gone. Honestly, that's probably the best play for the for the fish pond right now. Is we just do one last run of fishing out all the sea cucumbers that we have in there, so that they can so that we can get a few more out of it while we're away on Ginger Island. That is a good call. Thank you for that. Who said that? That was uh Mary Mary Pro. Thank you very much. This is a good call. I'll get these magma geodes going while I'm thinking about this too, or while I'm doing this. All right. Hope you're all enjoying the stream so far. By the way, it is it is very different from what we've been used to these past few months for sure. It is uh, actual real progress, which is something we've all been looking forward to. It's it's almost overwhelming in a way, just the amount of things that we have open to us. We still have to worry about like the missing bundle. We have Ginger Island, obviously, a lot to go on there. We, then we have Calico Desert. It's going to be just one thing after another after another. But for right now, I hope you're just enjoying the show. There we go. Food. All right. Food is a good call, actually. What food are we bringing to Ginger Island? What do we want to bring? We have, a, we have a stack of sashimi. I don't know if that's the play, though. I can make um, a bunch of root platters. That one I know. We have a bunch of cave carrots and a bunch of winter roots. We can make 42 root platters. We can also make sashimi on Ginger Island because we can obviously, we also have 16 root platters right here. Sashimi would be fine. Coffee for speed boost. Yeah, we're gonna we're definitely bringing the triple shot espresso. All right, let me real quick. I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll set up my inventory I did this on the Discord last night with some with some other people who were in there, but now that everyone's here on stream and there's a bunch more people watching, we can maybe get some more intel as to what we actually need. I'll set up my inventory how I think I would want to have it for Ginger Island. So I'm just going to... We'll, we'll use this as a placeholder for whatever food. Whatever our food supply is going to be. Then you go ahead... None of this is new, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So let's just sort that out. So we basically need every tool at our disposal. We're going to need a bigger boat, but we're also going to need a pickaxe, a sword. I don't need to bring the scythe. The sword can serve in place of the scythe for right now. We need we need the axe. We need the copper pan, which goes on our head. Um, we need the watering can. So this is all like non-negotiable as far as I as far as I know. Is there anything else I'm missing here that I that I would need? Ho, uh, I need the slingshot maybe, but uh, I don't. It's not super necessary. Take a chest, please. We there's there's trees on Ginger Island. We can chop them down and craft chests. I'm not super worried about that. Um, yeah, food, triple shot espresso. I was thinking of bringing as well our stack of mixed seeds so we can plant stuff on Ginger Island. I know you get 
certain golden walnuts for crops and things. Plus, we need to grow melons and rhubarb anyway. We need. To, should we should we bring coffee beans? I was thinking about that too. We also uh, toyed with the idea of bringing a stack of bombs, like a bunch of bombs. But I, we can also craft bombs on Ginger Island, so I don't know if that's super necessary. Um. The slingshot. I'll go grab the slingshot real quick. We might as well. Just so we have it on hand. Espresso machine. Espresso machine could actually be kind of could be could be kind of a galaxy brain play. Sprinklers. Uh we don't really we can craft sprinklers on Ginger Island if we need to. Which we I mean we probably will, but spring, sprinklers might be a good play, honestly. I can see that. Take chest and a bomb. You don't want to have to spend the time harvesting wood. I mean, we what we can unlock the the island farmhouse, and then we can make a chest after that. I'm I I'm fully prepared to unlock the island farmhouse, and then just do all our busy work after that. That much I'm not concerned with. We'll take the sashimi out of here. We'll take the master slingshot. I don't think we need any of the rest of this from here. One bomb and one chest will save a ton of time. But like each each of those is an inventory slot, and we gotta be we gotta be judicious with how we spend these inventory slots. But I can see I can see the argument for bombs at least. I don't know if I see the argument for chests entirely. Because there, there's it's so easy to get fifty wood. Burglar ring, we have we'll we'll bring the burglar ring. Yeah, I need to swap out that ring. That's a good call. Um I'm go ahead and just deposit food for right now. Okay, sashimi versus roots platters. Like, we can make so many roots platters. Let's just make, like, a bunch of these. I feel like I, I'd rather have these. They're better energy, better health, and you get the attack buff. I feel like they're better for me than sashimi, and if we run out, then we can always pivot to sashimi on Ginger Island itself. We'll have food sources there. It's not a problem. We might, you know, we might as well. Why, why, why hold back? Bring Tim Beeb. If he would fit in an inventory slot, I would bring Tim Beeb in a heartbeat. Absolutely. Alright, so... Slingshot is a good play, probably. We get... We need some stone. To actually put in our slingshot. Bring the cactus fruit. Why the water thing? The watering can? You need it for to traverse parts of the volcano dungeon. To even get into the volcano dungeon, you actually need the watering can, at least to start off with. So yeah, we need all these tools. We also need watering can for like watering crops. If we if we focus on that, um, what else? Mushrooms in the volcano will be the best food for later. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about the food. I think this is going to be fine. Uh, triple shot espresso. We'll make more of that so that we have it on standby when we are ready to go can make a lot of it. <laughs> I'm not going to make like an insane amount because we want to save some of that for that chi quest eventually. Alright. Um, there could be a real argument to be made for bringing coffee beans or or this coffee maker so that we have a renewable source, right? Seed maker? We can make a seed maker on Ginger Island, I'm pretty sure. I think, I think we have access to everything we need on there. Because what is a seed maker? It's it's gold, coal, and wood. I'm pretty sure you have access to all the ores you need on Ginger Island. It should be fine. Bring the Prairie King ar arcade system. I'm honestly, like, considering it. For real. You also need to bring kegs. We can make kegs, right? Well, uh, actually, kegs, you need, you need oak resin. That's going to trip us up. Okay. I don't think we need kegs, though, like, right away on Ginger Island. I think we can... Like I said, we don't need to do everything on Ginger Island in one trip. We just need to be prepared as as prepared as possible to do as much as possible while we are there and give ourselves the best opportunities for, uh... to get the things we need, which... Pr our, our priorities are going to be, number one, unlock the island farmhouse. Then number two is going to be to, um get the materials needed for the island obelisk. Or, the caveat to that, the last risk, you could also get the crafting recipe for island warp totems. 
and um, or just or just get an island warp totem as a drop or something. One of either of those will work. Yeah, and the materials for the island obelisk, for those not in the know, we need 10 dragon's teeth and 10 bananas. Dragon's teeth will drop for magma lurks. I'm pretty sure there are other ways to get them too, but the burglar's ring will help out with that. And uh, the bananas, we can grow banana saplings after we trade for them at the island trader, yada, yada, yada. Are you leaving once you get 10 coconuts? We will not leave once we get 10 coconuts because uh, that's, that's what we need for the desert obelisk, for the island obelisk, in order to get back and not have to pay for another 1,000 gold ticket to go to back to Ginger Island. That's why we need to stay on Ginger Island as long as possible until we have a free way back to the island. Fish pond is a good way to get back in teeth. We can we can do that too. Yeah, this, the Stingray fish pond is not a bad idea. Leave once you get 10 coconuts and a warp totem island. That is like technically the minimal play. We'll see. We'll see how it all pans out. I just want to be prepared. Because I kind of would like to just get the materials for the island obelisk and just get that over with out outright so I don't have to worry about accidentally leaving behind a, an island warp totem or something stupid like that. I feel like just, just ripping off that band-aid because we need that obelisk for, for perfection anyway could be a good idea. Junimo chests? We don't have access to Junimo chests yet, unfortunately. They're from uh, Cheese Walnut Room. You have a source of coffee in the island, the hot java ring. True. That's true. I don't know if it's if it's the most reliable source of coffee, but it is a, it is a possibility. I'm second guessing these bombs. I don't know if we necessarily need the bombs. We it could be it could be big, but I don't feel like I'd use them that much. I feel like it might but I mean, what else are we doing here, right? Yeah, I could get like get the recipe and then the the things to craft more totems. I just like I don't know. I'm so paranoid about it. Leave mixed seeds for now. I think mixed seeds are actually like a pretty good play though. I think mixed seeds are honestly like because we need to grow some crops, a bunch of crops on there. But I mean, we technically don't need them for the start. You do need one bomb. Oh, for the uh, Professor Snail thing, right? But can't we craft bombs? There's nothing stopping us crafting bombs on Ginger Island, is there? We have access to coal and we have access to ores? Or do we have do we not have access to coal on Ginger Island? We have to buy the, the totem cost. Yeah, we have to buy the crafting recipe for the totem that is factored into the cost. Bombs are super helpful in the volcano. Explosive ammo. Explosive ammo. Iron bar and coal. We could make a we could probably make a decent amount of explosive ammo if we smelt some more iron here, and then we have a lot of coal as well. Then I'd have to it would have to be exclusively explosive ammo because we just replaced the okay, I could we could we could swap out for explosive ammo. Is that is that a good play? Does that work for the archaeologist? Only need a cherry bomb. Grab your copper pan, pan and wear it on your head to save inventory space. One step ahead of you. Could bring a charcoal kiln. Don't think we need that. We could probably... I don't know if we can craft one on the island, but I don't think... I, don't, I think... I mean, if we did need a source for coal, but that would, that would be a play, but... You don't need that slingshot. The slingshot, yeah, it's technically only for one golden walnut. I'm willing to leave the slingshot behind, and I think I'm I think because it's only for one and we don't need that one in order to unlock the island farmhouse, we just leave the slingshot for now. I think that's fair. I honestly think. You still have a slot open, bring the bombs. I think I'm I think I've been convinced to bring the bombs. I think like all these tools non-negotiable. Food and coffee non-negotiable. These two are you could you could swap them swap them around. Coffee maker. I could bring the coffee maker. And then Prairie King. 
How do we feel about this? The other, the other thing, I, this is this is the the concession I would be willing to make as well, is uh he, here's here's the other, because th I I did just have a thought. Sir sprinklers, sprinklers are a good play, honestly. They kind of are, but I feel like we could. <sighs> Don't need the coffee maker with the Java ring. It's reliable, but is getting the Java ring reliable, or is it? I I honestly don't know. Sprinkler's more important than Coffee Maker. I mean, Sprinkler's more important than Prayer King Machine. Let's let's be real. Definitely don't need the Coffee Maker. No Coffee Maker. If I'm not going to bring the Coffee Maker, I'm going to go... Just just in case, just to be, like, way more prepared than I need to be. Let's, let's just, like, go hard. Let's get at least 100 Triple Shot Espresso. Don't take Coffee Maker. Blade is here to save the day. Alright. Um... Should I, so so sprinklers right? Do we want to bring sprinklers? Do we want to bring, build, do that setup because we can we can tear up this field down here, bring all these sprinklers, or we could craft some iridium sprinklers and things. I'm so <laughs> in over my head right now. I'm so flustered. <laughs> No Prairie King machine? Make Iridium Sprinklers? Iridium Sprinklers. Alright, um, I feel like, I feel like my, my chat delay is bigger than normal for some reason. Uh, Iridium Sprinklers. Gold bar. We don't have any freaking gold. <laughs> We'd have to go mining for gold, and I don't really want to do that. Honestly, I think I'd, I think you just bring the... You have the resources for Iridium Sprinklers. But the, the gold is, is a stymieing factor. I don't know how many Iridium Sprinklers we realistically need. It's just one per sprinkler, is it? One per sprinkler? Thought sprinklers didn't work on the beach farm? They they work on certain parts of the beach farm, and they just work flat out on Ginger Island. So we, we could make, uh, with this... What is that? We could make seven Iridium sprinklers? Is that fine? I think se seven, honestly, it sounds like pretty good to me. Let's at least get this smelting so that we have the option. Do we have garlic? Exclamation point treasure. That's one of the seeds from the treasure rooms, I'm pretty sure. 24 plants for sprinkler. Seven should be plenty then, yeah, I think. I think we'll be alright with, with seven. Okay. So, we bring sprinklers, we bring all this, and then Prairie King Arcade System. Hundred and sixty eight spots is plenty. I'm with I'm with you there. The math checks out for sure. So we bring sprinklers and that's our last slot, right? Is sprink are sprinklers the last slot? Bring the statue of lesser perfection, the this statue of perfection right here. It I mean we I don't think we're gonna need too much iridium, and you can technically find iridium on Ginger Island, so I think we'll be alright. Yeah, we'll make a chest once we're there. Why is this making me so stressed? I'm right there with you, Sarah Jane. I, this is this is more stress than I've been used to recently. Every stream for the past, like, three months has been, like, ho-hum. I'm walking through Pelican Town. Let me search through the garbage can. Oh, it's a soggy newspaper again. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a Joja Cola. What do you know? This is this one's the dish of the day from the Stardrop Saloon. Now it's like, are you ready? Are you ready? Do you have exactly everything you need? Do you have it exactly as prepared as possible? You need to be given your speedrunner mentality. Go, go, go. Don't mess this up. This is your one chance and I'm like oh my god I'm so just like <laughs> I need to chill but I'm just freaking out man alright um yeah regrowable hardwood on ginger island is true deep breath for argon and chat hard to agree with that so let's go ahead I think sprinklers for the last slot I'm not going to lie to you guys, part of me, part of me wants to do this. Part of me wants to say no bombs. Jukebox. 
I, I, ha I know how everyone's going to feel about that, but I mean, I'm just putting it on the table. I'm just putting it on the table. Okay? <laughs> Why don't you take the Lucky Lunches? I want to save Lucky Lunches preferably for uh, Skull Caverns as much as possible. <laughs> no, no way. No way. <laughs> I can craft another jukebox though, right? Jukeboxes are craftable things. Mini jukebox. Mini jukebox. Two iron bars and a battery pack. Ah, oh, battery pack is going to be hard to come by on Ginger Island. <laughs> you don't necessarily need bombs. I'm right there with you, Blade. We can craft our own bombs and... Hmm. No more pickle jar rag. I'm going to be true to myself with this one. I'm going to be true to myself. I'm I'm you 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 might not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh let's let me I'm I'm going to leave it for right now cuz I don't want to disrupt pickle jar rag. We let we let this finish. Let's just we'll use this chest for right now. And this is going to be our Ginger Island chest, okay? So we get all that, 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 that. And then we got sprinklers and and jukebox. Is this it? Is this ginger? Is this our Ginger Island loadout right here? Good call, Malehu. What did Malehu say? Once we build the house, we can unlock the mailbox, so battery packs on the island are a possibility. It's true. Pam can send us some. I think Kent too, maybe. The jukebox doesn't play music on the island. I don't know if that's someone that's it. I don't know if that's someone Rebescapades. You are a channel member. I'm inclined to trust you. Does the jukebox not work on Ginger Island? This is this is important information. Didn't we test it yesterday? I, I don't know if we ever finished, like, fully finished testing the jukebox on, gin, on Ginger Island, but... Google it. I don't need Google. I have Blade, but I don't know if he knows the answer. Confirmed. Jukebox doesn't work on the island. For best capades, thank you for the $2 super chat. Just tried it on your island farm. If that's the case, I don't want to be the stick in the mud that tries it despite all warnings. We'll bring the bombs, okay? We'll bring the bombs. I'll be boring like that. Alright, and then sprinklers are... So iridium sprinklers are our last slot there. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that I think that's our play. Let me grab... Um, there's these and these, so we're ready to craft the Iridium Sprinklers tomorrow morning. And so here's my thinking, right? I think this... I'm, I'm happy enough with this outfit for Ginger Island. I think wearing the Cactus Fruit shirt is good, and I think these are a good fit for Ginger Island just in general. I'm all right with this. I'm going to take the Copper Pan off for right now because it looks silly. We'll put it in with our Ginger Island supplies. Here's what we're going to do, all right? The boat will be ready tomorrow. We could leave for Ginger Island tomorrow. I think after all the stress and everything that we've been through, after all this planning and everything, let's let's take a day. Let's just take a day for ourselves to unwind, say our goodbyes to to people in town. I think I'm I think I'm kind of here for that, okay? I think that I think that's going to be important to me. I also want to do one last little thing. Can I... Let me just grab, like... I can't, I can't, I can't, like, click that. I need, I need an actual pickaxe to get the sprinkler off here. I just want one sprinkler really quick. One day to relax sounds lovely. Yeah, I think we, I think we're, we're due that much, at least. Especially after today. Can I move this chest... I think I want to put like a sprinkler here for Timbeam. 
Let me just grab the, uh, just grab this. I don't know why I'm not using my mini obelisk, by the way. I know this doesn't actually fill the bowl for the record, but I, I'm just putting it there in spirit. Okay, where can this, where does this go? That's, that's good, that's good. You can still reach that, all right. All right, um, yeah. Let's put all this away, let's put, let's put away our pickaxe. And let's go to bed. Let's go to bed, we'll craft our sprinklers in the morning and then we'll take a day of just relaxation, all right? I think I'm on board for that. I think most people in chat are on board for that. I think we're good. Go to sleep for the night? Yeah. I forgot we'd actually get a little cutscene. Man, they're working straight through the night on this one, huh? Even got even roped Robin into that one. Kinda wild. Sprink sprinkler won't reach, you need a quality one. But he, he, he'll just be... Tim Beeb will just, like, run through the sprinkler. He, that's, he, he doesn't actually need to reach his bowl. He can just, like, uh, yap it up from, from next to the bowl. It might be more, more fun for him that way, too. Hey, more cactus fruit, by the way. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Who, whoever thought I'd be saying that? More cactus fruit. Exclamation point, more cactus fruit. All right. That's fine. You know what? Just leave where I'm. I'll put the. You know what? I'll put the cactus fruit exactly where it deserves to go. It goes right in here, with our other very important things. All right. Thank you, Rob. Man, after all that hard hard work last night on the boat, she still found time to send me fifty leftover wood from the project. Heck yeah. Good news: the old boat is seaworthy once again, thanks to you. Stop by back the back room whenever you want to ride. My shop is now open at eight a.m., so you can get an early start. Willy. P.S. I don't care that you gave me all the resources and were the sole reason that this boat is going to be uh, seaworthy again. You still need to pay the thousand gold for your trip. Colon P. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the subtext of that note right there. Eat a cactus fruit? I mean, I technically could. There's, there's really no reason that I couldn't, but I fe it feels just blasphemous somehow, you know? All right. Let's get this. Let's craft our iridium sprinklers. Seven iridium sprinklers is plenty. We'll throw this over here in our Ginger Island uh, repertoire. Quickly water Tim B for not the last time. I mean, technically we'll water him tomorrow as well. But all right, I will bring the hoe with me on the off chance that we find an artifact spot. I'm not going to worry about anything else. I think jukebox, juke, jukebox definitely works. We're not, we're not, we're done. We're done with the Ginger Island uh, discussion right now. Right now, we enjoy our time. Let's take a quick just peruse around the farm, you know. Quick brief trip down memory lane before we say goodbye to it for, for a little while. Who knows when we're going to be back again. You got Keg City, you got your greenhouse. Let's check the greenhouse one last time. You know what? I'm not gonna make Chloe work on this day. It's it's fine. Got a whole freaking mushroom. Oh my god, the mushroom forest. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about the mushroom forest that is invading our farm at all hours. Goodbye, my mushroom friends. I can't wait to see how far you've grown. I want to see this; these two forests connect right here. That they just grew independently of each other, and I want to see them. I want to see it come to fruition at the end of it. All right, let's begin saying our goodbyes, shall we? Starting with someone who's been very important to this challenge, in instrumental even, but that we haven't seen in a while. It is Sunday. Hello, traveling merchant. How are you today? What do you got for us? What do you What do you got on the order? Sandfish, very funny. Apricot, wine. This is kind of perfect. The rare seed. <laughs> you got apricots. You got sandfish. Garlic. <laughs> you got a whole gamut of stuff. 
Goodbye to you as well, my my poor sign friend. Say goodbye to the wizard, I guess. We're, we're in the neighborhood. I don't know if I'm going to say... Oh, I guess... You know what? I guess he doesn't want us to say goodbye. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. He's got bigger things to worry about. He's probably, like... I don't know, spying on his ex-wife or something right now. Welcome to the stream, Feel. Feel 65. That garlic is a tease. So true. Hello, John Gabriel. Yeah, I think let's let's just go around and say, give our goodbyes to to people that we like. I mean, Penny, you're you're very nice. It's gonna be it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while before we see any of these people again. Teach them how to say goodbye, my buddy Krobus. You have been you you're gonna be much more important to the challenge in the future. Your time will come, my friend. You've opened my eyes to the world of humans. I appreciate that. Don't make me cry. Don't make me cry, Krobus. Goodbye, my friend. I'll see you on the other side. See you on the other side of Ginger Island. Let's let's say goodbye to some very inanimate but also hardened ardent supporters of this challenge. Goodbye. Garbage cans one and two, and including especially garbage can two. You were always my favorite, and I've never let anyone tell you otherwise. Why didn't you bring gifts? I don't want to. I mean, it's not forever goodbye. It's just see you later. Goodbye, Lewis's garbage can. You were always my least favorite. I'm very glad we didn't get the didn't get the cactus root from you. We also get to take a quick look at uh, at what has become of Jojamar, right? Ever since, uh, you know, Cactus Fruit rolled, around, rolled into town, all of a sudden, Jojamar, life's terminated. <laughs> that's, kind of, that's kind of harsh. Life's terminated. Oh my god. Yikes. Goodbye, Greg. The many eyes of Greg. We'll have we'll have to we'll have to get Greg on Ginger Island eventually. I know scarecrows are not needed on Ginger Island, but you know what? Goodbye to to Evelyn and George. I don't know where George is at. Oh, he must be at the at Yoba's altar. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to Alex as well. You know what? You're all right. Hey Chloe, how's your day going? It's a little somber. It's a little overwhelming. I'm not gonna lie, but you know what? Quick goodbye to Gus. What's on, what's what's the dish of the day here, Gus? What do you got? Let's just I just have a look. Some glazed yams. You know what? They look delicious, buddy. They look delicious. Thank you for allowing me to play your arcade games free of charge. Goodbye to the cactus. I don't know how much how instrumental you were in this, but one la one last serenade for the road. Are you going to stay at Ginger Island for more than one day? There's a, there's an island farmhouse that we can unlock. Um. Yeah, hey Harvey, you're out here. I mean, I never really think of you, but you know what? You're here, might as well. Imagine if you, this is why I don't talk to Harvey. All right, <laughs> we, don't, we don't we don't talk to Harvey. Not not only do we not, do we not talk about Harvey, we don't talk to Harvey. Let's just spend some time, you know. If we're going to say goodbye to anybody, obviously. It's gonna be Emily. Just kidding. <laughs> this house was left in care by our parents. I don't think Haley's actually here, is she? She's she's down at the beach. Let's go to the beach real quick. Or is she Sunday? Sunday? No, Sunday. Sunday. It's, I I, keep, I was thinking it's summer for some reason. Summer is tomorrow. She's gonna be up at the fountain. Bye, Abigail. I mean, I'm not gonna. Yeah, it's fine. Who's Harvey? King Nooblet. How you doing, Haley? Thinking about donating a bunch of clothes? She's such a good person. So nice. Let's just, you know, just hang out for a, for, for a minute. She's really the only one we want to say goodbye to in town here at any great length, so we'll, we'll take a little time and just enjoy our 
just enjoy each other's company, you know? Sometimes it's important to do that. It's important to take a step back, realize that this whole challenge is, you know, it's... It's what everyone's here for, it's what everyone's interested in, obviously, but it's what's brought us all together under this collective umbrella. But... It's these little things that help make it what it is. We could just speed run it, we could just min-max it, not even think about, like, Oh, who's Haley? Who's our... Oh, not even care about, like, what our dog's name is. Where's the fun in that, right? We're not speedrunning. We're not speedrunning by by a long shot. Have you seen how long these streams go on for and how many of them there are? Playing at our own pace. <laughs> oh my god, the Haley quote. I was starting to get kind of lonely. Truly, truly Haley bot is sentient. I don't want to. I don't want to leave. She'll leave eventually on her own. I know, but I just. I don't want to. I don't want to leave her side right now. Argon has invented slow running. <laughs> we'll walk her home. Can I catch up real quick? Why does this make me, like, so happy? Wait up, wait up, wait up. That's the money right there. Wait for her. We're, like, slightly faster than her, I think. But it's alright. It's, it's those strong leg muscles. All the work on the farm. Thank you, thank you. Thanks again for the cactus fruit. Alright. Let's head home. We got one last friend to say goodbye to. The one who's uh, been by our side the longest, I would say. Uh, I don't know if I want to see him in the morning either. I don't. Tim Beeb? Tim Beeb, where are you at, buddy? Where are you at? He's hiding. He loves this dog. Loves playing hide and seek. This much I know to be true. Maybe he's inside. Maybe he's already inside. I honestly don't know. Spam 07 for Tim Beeb. Oh, there he is. He's protecting the fish ponds. Look at this good dog. Come on, buddy. Take a trip over to your favorite island really quick. I know he he loves this little island. I've seen him hanging out here so many times lately. Look at oh my gosh, Tim Beeb. He's wondering what this big golden edifice is doing here. He's like, this used to be my island. What the heck happened? Quick staring contest, quick staring contest. I, I should have expected no different, no different. Oh my gosh. How many hours of playtime until now? Exclamation point playtime. Thank you, Alyssa. <laughs> oh, buddy. All right. I got to get an early start in the morning. I think it's time. We've said our goodbyes. We'll see Tim Beeb in the morning, I think. But uh, we'll, we'll water him one last time. Take good care of the farm while we're away, buddy. All right? I'm trusting you. This place is in good pause. Get some, if you got Argon love, spam it for Timbeeb. Spam it for Haley. Spam it for all the friends that we're, that we're leaving behind for the moment. Buddy, you can come, come on, let's sleep in the house. Let's sleep in the house. Put away all this, all these little random assortments as we so often do. A few more mixed seeds for our Ginger Island bundle. All right. I mean, speaking of origin dry, I don't want to sleep with all this stuff on us. We'll, we'll, we'll pick it up in the morning. We don't need to be at uh, Willie's place until it opens at 8 a.m. anyway, so it should be fine. We got the, we got the beach uh, beach obelisk, the water obelisk to warp there anyway. And one last send off to the tuna pickle jar rag. I was think I was contemplating turning off the jukebox while we're gone, but honestly, I think it's uh, I think Tim Pete would like to have it on, sort of a reminder, you know. All right. 
here we go. We've officially, we've completed the community center. We've done all our little odds and ends around this place lately. We still have more to do, of course, but the next big leg of the leg of the uh, journey is upon us. Tomorrow, Ginger Island. Let's do it. Let's just go. Go to sleep for the night. I'm ready. I've said my goodbyes. I'm at peace. Okay. I honestly don't know how long we're going to be gone, but we're going right at the start of summer, so we can we can time this out, obviously. It's going to be easy, easy to keep track of. Okay. Let's get a move on, shall we? Quick morning coffee. I am going to take, uh, I believe it was Chaos Stripes advice earlier to just, uh, you know what, just sell something, sell like literally anything so that if we do pass out on Ginger Island for whatever reason on our first day here, then uh, then we have some time to rectify it. Thanks, Emily. Quick, quick, a little bit more tailoring supplies for when we inevitably get back. No, we're not going to be able to make any new clothes. Goodbye, Tim Beeb. All right. Let's grab everything here. All right, so we got our tools. Uh, just get everything in order. Quickly put this on our head, as silly as that looks. And then uh, grab that, 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 that. All right. All right. We're good. This is how we leave things. Let's go. We don't want to miss our boat. Sayonara, Frugal Farm. For now, anyway. And we wait. We are a little early. It's always important to arrive early when you're, whenever you're going to, like, the airport. And I assume the same holds true for, uh, for boat ports. For piers, <laughs> rather. <laughs> what the heck's a boat port? That has the same energy as stomach bag. What about the slingshot? You only need it for a single golden walnut. So we're not going to worry about it for right now, because we don't need to get every single golden, wa golden walnut on our uh, on our venture here, just in case. Yeah, 8 a.m., okay. Well, will you name the Ginger Island Farm? I think, I, I think it's just an extension of Frugal Farm Incorporated. It's just that we're franchising, is I think the play right now. Sit on the bench and chill. There is a bench over there, that's very true. But I mean, it's already almost opening time, so we'll just, we'll just continue loitering. A boat port is just a port, Argon? Now I feel even dumber. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Someone start the speedrun timer. <laughs> Almost. Alright. Buy a ticket for Ginger Island. This is a necessary expenditure. There's no other way to get to Ginger Island without paying for this ticket fee. Let's tack that on. And be on our way. She looks good as new. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I don't know if I would necessarily say new, but you know what? I do appreciate the little like light strand up here. That's kind of nice. It's a nice little addition. Do you think that was Willie or Robin adding that? Let's go. By the way, what's on this island? There's a cave over there. I need to know. I need, is that Mirage Island? Are we liter are we the Hoenn crossover that no one ever knew we needed? Pokemon? That's how you know it's a good reference when you just have to say the the name of the franchise that it comes from. <laughs> also a little Brachiosaurus over there. We're also in the land before time. Alright, Ginger Island. Rebescapades, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Vote of confidence, we got this. Alright. We need to unlock the island farmhouse very, very quickly. So let's let's get let's get some coffee in us. Hello, Leo. I've done my practice. I know exactly where to go and exactly what I'm doing, all right? At least for the first part of this, once we get the island farmhouse, all bets are off. All bets are off at that point. Golden walnut. That's one. That's our first golden walnut. Let's put that in the record books. Put that in the history books. What the heck? There's, I, th there wasn't this much grass. <laughs> there was never this much grass on my practice runs. This because it's, I, maybe I've maybe grass has been growing here for the past seven years. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a thing. But you know what? It's fine. We'll make it work. We'll make do. Some parrots. I would. I'll take all, all the time I need to appreciate these sites in the future. But for right now, we just need to go. All right. We pay this guy one walnut. 
so that Leo thinks we're a cool lady. He'll be like, ooh, ooh, what's this? A friend with a strange metal helmet. The boy looks at you with curious eyes. I look back at him with even more curious eyes. Yeah, exactly. My thoughts exactly. He seems to have a close bond with the parrots, but he's too shy to approach you right now. Perhaps making friends with the parrots could earn his trust. Now go collect the 130 walnuts. All right. Actually, only 30 right now. We need we need 30, 10 to unlock the side of the island that uh, contains the island farmhouse, and another 20 to unlock the farmhouse itself. And now we got the appropriate music to go along with it. Some nice, calming, relaxing island tunes to offset the sheer, <laughs> the sheer uh, mania of what's about to happen here. All right, so that's one down. I think we need, what, 15, 14 by the time I head over to the to the west of the island. Sounds about right. There's one right there. Bunch just, like, lying around in the dirt here. All right. We got lots of energy. I don't know why I looked at my energy like I was going to run out or something. We don't worry about this little hut here right now. We'll just take, carry on with our lives for the time being. We go... I'm going to go up here real quick. There is... The one with the slingshot is up that way, so we don't need to go there, but we'll grab that and that. I do have a route. Yeah, I planned this all out. We plan, We figured it out in the Discord last night. We figured out basically everything, everywhere I need to go for all this. But beyond, beyond what I'm doing right now, beyond what you're seeing, I have never experienced Ginger Island, and we'll... We'll see how that goes. I, I mean, I have no doubt that chat's going to guide me to Golden Walnut Havens. I don't know how long it's going to take to get all of them, obviously. I've never done this before. And I'm not under the delusion that I'm going to go completely spoiler-free through all of Ginger Island. It's been out for so long that, like, asking you guys to refrain from spoilers is kind of a futile effort. But we will do... Uh, I'll, I'll do my best to at least stay surprised. Don't forget the one in the secret passage down. I got you. I'll get that one on the uh, on the way back. For right now, we just make all of our way all the way over here, and we get two more. Not keeping too close of an eye on chat because I already I I need to focus on what I'm doing here. I think we'll we'll still have plenty of time to spare. Uh, if everything goes according to plan here. We, we should have, like, more than enough time to, to spare on our island farmhouse pursuit. I island farmhouse. Island farmhouse pursuits here. Now we go back down here. There's this little secret passage right there. You're doing great. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's 14 golden walnuts right there. I think 15 was accounting for the fact that we had the slingshot on our practice runs. So that's fine. All right. Wake Turtle. Wake Turtle. I do feel a little bad about this one. This turtle did nothing wrong. He's just, he's honestly just like sleeping. And, <laughs> and this is, this is an actual crime. Oh my gosh. I thought this was a PG-13 stream. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick this right here. Where can I put the, I put it right there. All right. That's fine. Uh, that, Cause I need an inventory spot for six pieces of wood specifically rabbit all right good to go let's go down here there is one right over here let me head down this away you can get some from mining those muscle nodes and stuff but we're not going to worry about that right now because that's i think we should be able to get all the ones that we need outside of that now with these six pieces of wood, we craft three fence posts so that we can do this little dude right here. He's, he, see, he's, I also feel a little bad about this guy. He's also vibing like the turtle, but he's also, at, he has sunglasses on, so I think he can take it a bit more like a champ. All right. Taking care of business. For anyone who doesn't know anything about Ginger Island, this has got to look so like just arcane and like what the heck is this guy even doing? He know, How does he know where to go? This is the offending rock, by the way, that we need the steel pickaxe for because there's a golden walnut right there. All right. We continue onward and upward. There's a golden walnut right here. There's one over this away. Murder the worm. I just tried to feed him. I just tried to water him. I thought he looked a little thirsty. Just a little parched, you know. 
drinking some more espresso to get things going here. We're doing all right. We're still good on time. There's a heck of a path for that walnut, doing a little sinusoidal dance right there. All right. We also have these tiger slimes. I will kill them because they, they have a chance to drop a walnut, I'm pretty sure. We don't need this walnut. I think they're about to breed and make more tiger slimes. One of these must be acute and one of these must be not acute. Yeah, look, they're trying to breed. They're they're in love. Go get go get them, champ. Go get them. Or you know not. I mean, this is this also works. I could I could root splatter up here to make this a little easier going. My sword is not is not an ideal end game sword, but it gets the job done. There's a golden walnut. All right, we didn't account for that one, but it's good to have it. All right, uh, send that. We got this. Then we go down this away. Take care of these shrubberies. Like so. Yeah, we're going to make this in plenty of time. It's only 4 p.m. We we have until the end of the day to actually unlock this uh, this farmhouse. So we should be totally fine. We got 18. We can head down here. We got 19. This is going to be the 20th one we need right over here. We can also take this little secret path over here. We might as well do it while we're in the in the neighborhood. 21 right there. And you know I gotta do it to him. I'm gonna head right up here and tempt fate a little bit. This is this is just a quick little Simon Says puzzle. We all did these when we were three years old. Should be super easy. There's no way that I fail this. Guaranteed. I have a top tier memory, absolutely. It's a nice little tune, actually. me with it. Is that it? Freaking nailed it first try. It wasn't even close. Wasn't even I wasn't even worried about it. I just had to go <laughs> I just had to go completely silent to focus on it, but you know what? You would too. You would too. Not even bad. All right. Um I am a little worried about the, the Prairie King machine disappearing when I <laughs> when I build this farmhouse, if it's like sitting here, so let's just take it back and let's get her done. 20 walnuts, repair the sleep hut. I shall do that, my parody friend. Time, time, that's time. There it is. There is our new home for the foreseeable future. So much bigger. Like, what the heck? Why couldn't my first farmhouse come like this? Oh my gosh. All right. Well, let's get settled in, shall we? Obviously, you gotta you gotta put that there. Um. Yeah, and let's go get a chest. Let's go get an actual chest now. So we gotta chop down some wood. I need trees, preferably. I don't want to have to worry about all these little these little shrubberies. I can do these trees. These these trees are good. You did that on your 11th try, the memory game? I respect it, honestly. All right. Um, put that away. Should be easy enough to get... Like, we're already halfway to a chest. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be more than fine on this. There we go. Hope you play that entire sequence in your final vid because that was genuinely very impressive. Hey, practice pays off. It really does at the end of the day. What can I say? All right. Now we go ahead and craft ourselves a chest. We'll throw this on the ground for now. And I guess, yeah, just right outside the door is honestly fine by me. And we'll just put away all our odds and sods for right now that we don't need. Because we're here. We're on Ginger Island. We made it. And we have the island farmhouse at our disposal. We just need to sleep there. We'll save our, sp our state of being. 
and then we can proceed from here wherever that may go because this this is the end of my practice of ginger island now i'm flying completely blind i don't know <laughs> where to go from here um do i plant crops i guess i guess planting crops and setting up a farm might not be the worst way to start things off here going all the way back to freaking day one of stardew valley clearing out our fields do we use some bombs to clear it out or are the bombs too valuable do you think Season 3. Welcome to Season 3, everybody. Get this stupid copper pan off my head. Actually, you know what? It's kind of it's kind of iconic for Ginger Island, I think. I think we just let it ride for now, and we... Because we'll need, we'll need it in the future, anyway. Change that chest color. You're right. You're so right, honestly. Just nuke the farm. Yeah, bombs are pretty valuable. I don't know if I want to spend them on things that I can just do like this, like manual labor like this. So we'll just we'll just take care of business like this for now. Quickly grab ourselves a living hat by getting all the fiber on the farm. No big deal. The pink bombo. I am aware of the pink bombo. This is the only sap we have to our name as well for, for all the sap lovers out there. We have we have no access to our massive res reservoirs of sap back home. This is it. A measly pittance of 18 sap. Might get a snake tail. Yeah, I, I, I've heard that snake tails and snake spines and things are like kind of hard to come by. What is this? A journal scrap? A damp tattered page torn from an old journal. Day one, my ship is lost, shattered by a tempest in, the, tempest in the unforgiving sea. I find myself stranded now on these strange shores. My crew has perished, but I still live. Perhaps Lady Luck has blessed these wicked bones of mine, or has her own designs for my fate. At any rate, I have no choice but to make a life for myself here. There's fresh water in abundance and food to forage and fertile soil to work. First, I'll build a shelter. So true. This is the most relate. Did I write this note? Oh my god. So relatable, honestly. All right. Off to a good start here. I should probably get my axe to start chopping some wood. Take care of that. I also will change this chest color. What's a, what's a nice tropical color? Nice tropical cyan right there. Something like that. I think I can, I can vibe with that. I can certifiably vibe check that one. Birdie's husband wrote the note. I, I I saw I watched Charlie Barley's video on like the on like how the the old mariners like the sailor like Birdie's husband. It was a good theory. It was a good lore video. And I do remember these notes from that, but I I kind of like forgot that they existed. Honestly, there's a panning spot. Was there a panning spot? I didn't I didn't hear it. Honestly, I've been too focused on other things like the fact that this is a real place and that. I'm actually experiencing Ginger Island live for the first time in front of all of you. OMG, Argon, you forgot. What did, I, what did I forget, zombie? I'm not too concerned because I know you're not super well versed in Stardew to begin with. So, uh, <laughs> so like, I, I think, I think, all right, not that's not that's not a slight against you, by the way. You just don't have as much game knowledge as I do, which is, I think, fair to say about just about everyone in the chat right now. Barring a few, uh, a few experts that we got around here. <laughs> I forgot nothing. Good to know. Good to know. Haley bot's all we have now, by the way. She's our only friend in this, in, in this world. Until we start to befriend Leo and Birdie. Oh, I should go say hi to Birdie, I guess. She's probably in, in bed by now, I would imagine. But something on to, something to keep in mind for the future, for sure. Man, they couldn't... <laughs> Couldn't just leave well enough alone with these logs that I actually can't chop down right now, could they? All right. Put all this away. I don't know how many chests I'm going to want for Ginger Island, or if, if one is going to do. We'll just leave it for right now. And uh, I guess we're heading to bed. Save the day. Go to sleep for the night? I think so. Day one of Ginger Island is a success. Two hundred 
gold for that iridium ore. That was our fail-safe iridium ore, just in case we were really stupid on our first day. And now, now we're saved on Ginger Island. Got the music playing. No, no jukebox, no pickle jar rag for the foreseeable future. But if I get a chance to make it happen, you know I will. You know I will. If it turns out that our intel was wrong and you can, in fact, make a jukebox work on Ginger Island, I will be, uh, I will move heaven and earth to make that a reality. Don't you worry about it. Alibot with the double. <laughs> it's a rare, the, the, the double is definitely rare. All right, and let's not forget why Ginger Island was such a pivotal place for us to begin with, by the way. Not only is it, I mean, there's a lot of reasons to come to Ginger Island, especially for perfection and stuff, but we have, f like, free access to coconuts now. Like, we, we've spent so long just bereft of coconut or cactus fruit sources. Now, anytime we see a coconut in a tree, we can just, like, shake that sucker down. Or at least I think there's like a pretty high chance that we can. It's it's kind of it's a beautiful thing, honestly. Does debris gather on on the Ginger Island farm, like it does on the farm back home? If so, I'm gonna be a little upset that immediately after getting the golden clock, we left it behind and started gonna start to have to worry about debris all over again. <laughs> Pam should be able to send battery packs. That I think that yeah, I think that's our only only recourse for that, huh? What's in here? Hello, sir. <laughs> you just hanging out behind my house? Alrighty. Cribbit. Ooh, you the farmer who tend to the outside land of my house, bub? Gurp, the land once teamed with fresh fresh food. -a. Sigh. Me wish to see in the teaming once more. Grow for me the pink thing. The juicy thing. You be growing the thing outside now, bub? I don't think I have the pink juicy growing outside my house right now, so I'm gonna say no. Cribbit, you know grow the thing I wish I'd see. Grow this a thing and return a to me. I was just about to say the same thing, honestly. I'm, he just beat me to the punch by like a few seconds, so. All right, we'll go ahead and just plant the mahog mahogany tree there. Why not? So we need to grow a melon for that dude. That's that's what the pink juicy is. Is that is is this correct intel? I believe that would be the case. Why does he talk like Jar Jar Binks? Misa want a big pink fruit. That's all. That's all I can do for Jar Jar. You can't. You can't do a Jar Jar impression for too long, or else uh, you start to become him. All right. Um. So that's that's our farm basically clear right now. Now I guess we can set up our sprinklers and go from there, huh? Just set up, set up sprinklers, set up shop. We'll be, good. we'll be in good shape right here. All right, so we're, we are... Man, we're burning through our energy much more than we have in many recent days. All right, I'll keep that for right now. Uh, I don't think I need this. Shouldn't need the pickaxe either, realistically. So we want... Let's get our sprinklers. Let's get our mixed seeds. We got our hoe already. And we just start a planting, right? We just plant, like, a bunch of mixed seeds and... Because we need to grow, like, a ton of crops on Ginger Island, is that correct? For for golden walnut potentiality? I don't know if I'm going to make this the nicest uh, <laughs> the nicest layout of all time. I think we're just going to do a, just a big old field right here. Let's just start, like, I mean, let's just start right at the right at the edge here, huh? Two, three. So how do, what's the radius for one of these things? It's 24 tiles, right? Is it, like... No, I think I can go like one. Oh, I should. I should. You know what? I should bring the pickaxe just in case I do. In case I like misplace these sprinklers. Loving this music, by the way. I'm living for it. So, like, if I do like, let's see, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 
So this is a this is an iridium sprinkler spot right here, right? This this works. This is this looks right. This looks correct to me. Two rings. That's a good way to think of it, honestly. Like a, an inner ring and an outer ring of crops. Yeah, I think that's that's the play. Okay. Man, it's it's so refreshing, by the way, to actually have space to freaking do this. This is kind of blowing my mind because on our on our beach farm, obviously. We didn't really have room for sprinklers in any great capacity due to an abundance of these logs in the spot that we normally would be able to use sprinklers. Now the world's our freaking oyster. We can actually partake. Is this what it feels like to be in the end game? I don't even know, man. So what how many spaces is this? There's one, two, three. I mean it's four spaces. It's four spaces between them, because so you just go like do a little like boop. Boop. Sprinkler. Just we'll just space them out nicely for right now. And three, four. Sprinkler. Sprinkler. And we don't want to go any further here. We don't have enough space, so we'll just we'll just carve all this out for right now with our unupgraded hoe. The first time anyone's ever done this on Ginger Island, use a non-upgraded hoe to tilt to till their dang fields. What a weird position we've got. This is such this challenge is so novel in so many different ways that you just never expect. I just you just forget that you don't have an upgraded hoe. I just went back in time, and from the moment you gained movement on Ginger Island to the moment you hit the confirm button, the house upgrade was a 9 minutes and 85 milliseconds? That seems pretty good. Is that a world record? I mean, I think I, I think I did pretty great. I even did a victory lap in the, with the memory game, Simon says. I think that was a, I think it was a pretty stellar performance, all things told, honestly. Alright, so we can do two more... Uh, little plots of land here. Let's do one right here. Boom. Is there gonna be room? For yeah, we got we got room there. Just just barely enough with that log there. And then we got uh, do another one right over here. It's fine. Not like the most beautiful or symmetrical thing, but that's not really what I'm concerned about at the moment. Right now, we just we're just worrying about getting the field down, so that we don't have to worry about it. We just set it and forget it, right? I think that's the play. No fertilizer either, but I'm not really super concerned about that. We're not worried about growing our best quality crops. We have all the money we're ever going to need. We're just worried about uh, getting the crops in the ground. It might not be much, but it's honest work, says the man with two million dollars in his back pocket. Ooh, a little clay. Do I do we do a little clay farming around here? Alright. That's good. Now we plant we, we run by and we just plant all our mixed seeds. Just just mix seed haven. Just send it. Just send it. So there's gonna there's gonna be some melons in here. There's gonna be rhubarb. I think there's blueberries. I don't know what the last crop, uh, what the last mixed seed ginger island crop is, but I believe those are at least, uh, some of our things. I know rhubarb and melons for sure, and I'm pretty confident in blueberries. I don't know what the other one is. How are you supposed to find a spot to grow chi beans if your entire field is filled with ancient fruit? Asking the real questions. See wheat and melons. Is there wheat in this? I don't know. I don't know if that one's wheat. I like the like. I think I think I would recognize wheat in the ground. That's one of the few. Pardon me. That's one of the few that I would recognize. I don't see it in there. But I could be mistaken. Blueberries and pineapple. Pineapples are are a mixed seed. I didn't know that. What the heck? <laughs> That's amazing. All right. That's cool. Uh, I'm not going to worry about watering these because the sprinklers will do that all tomorrow, and that's a lot of time and energy to spend on that. So let's just not even concern ourselves with that. Let's just do a little a little exploration of the island, shall we? Let's get acquainted with our new home for the next uh, next little while. 
next couple streams at the very least. I don't know how long it's necessarily going to take. First coconut. First, oh, a golden coconut too. All right, we need two of these to crack eventually. Coconut, all of a sudden, not that rare. It's not going to be such a sight for sore eyes. Look at that. Talk to the frog again. I, do I not have to wait for the the pink fruit, the pink juicy to grow all the way? To be big and plump? I'll, I'll, I will let him know that I'm growing the pink juicy. Let's see. Grow the pink thing. You be growing the juicy outside now? Yeah. I see you growing the ting, but it is still dingy small. Come back when it bombo big. All right. <laughs> we'll come back when it bombo big. Don't worry about it. Why two? Uh, for the golden coconuts, you need one to get the golden walnut that's in the first, that's always guaranteed to be in the first one. I need a second one in order to get the uh, snake skull, I'm pretty sure. What the heck are these? Can I hit them? Oh no! <laughs> I, I don't know what that is. I feel bad though. All right. Two coconuts in a single day. You shouldn't have some omni geodes. Can I make geo crushers on the island? Presumably, I will have the resources. Gold, stone, and diamonds. That's going to be a little pricey. We'll just hold on to them for the time being. Anyway, hello, birdie. Cutscene? I didn't even know. What are you doing, girl? A visitor. Come closer, child. I just do it without question. <laughs> I haven't had a visitor in many moons. Literally, she's been here so long. So much longer than she normally is on any save file. I almost forgot what those people looked like. Trust me, they don't. This is not a statement of fashion from the distant future. This is just, you know, <laughs> this is just Chloe. <laughs> well, I suppose now that you're here, I may as well ask her a favor. Shoot. What do you got, girl? Have you seen that wrecked ship on the south shore? Yeah, there was a golden walnut in there. My husband was the captain. A pirate he was. He set sail one day, never to return. Took me three years sailing the high seas to find his remains. Been here ever since, dear. This is a very sad story if when you like really take it in. Guarding his bones. Say what? If I could only find a keepsake of his, it would bring me such peace. So I think I know this quest. This is like one of those like wild goose chase quests where you go from person to person to person to person to person until you come back. A la the like General White from Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. But we're not gonna be able to complete that until we head back to Stardew Valley, right? So yeah, we'll just have to hold on to this warm memento for the time being and uh, let Birdie do her thing. It's fate of photograph of a soldier. It's the character Argon put in S tier. She is S tier, guaranteed, one hundred percent. All right, uh, put all this away. I might have to make multiple chests just for my own peace of mind, but for right now, I'm not going to worry about it. We do also have this over here to worry about. The oh my gosh, I'm getting a little some frame drops. Ginger Island is too much even for the the stream to handle. This guy over here. You hear a voice voice from behind the door. Only the greatest walnut hunters may enter here. Your current status: thirty-four of a hundred. Great. You see a coconut. I do. You you are correct. There is a coconut right there. Oh my gosh! It was it was a it was a twofer again. I don't know how rare that is, but there it is. The sprouts dance for a hoe. Wait, if I hoe if I hoe them. Oh, it's ginger. Okay, that's what this is. A little bit of ginger in my life. It's a sharp, spicy root said to increase vitality. Do these like respawn a la spring onions, kind of, or is this uh more or is this like less common than that? I can also mine these, I guess, these muscle nodes. Because I know that you can get at least one golden walnut from these. I don't know if you can get more than that. But this was a contingency plan for the run. There it is, right there. I don't know if you get need more than that, but might as well keep mining. Pirate's wife, by the way. They respawn all over the island. Eat something? We, we, we're fine, we're fine. We can eat some ginger, I guess. Went on Ginger Island. 
Yeah, I guess I, I, I honestly may, might not have even needed to bring food, but <laughs> you know what? It's fine. We'll make it work. This is a lot of mussels, and they do, and you can make all these into sashimi. There's two golden walnuts. Must be pretty common from the mussel nodes, I guess. I don't know. Five from the nodes of the sea. All right, got it. Is there a fridge? There is a fridge. Free chest. Put the ginger in there as well. Wickedy has a great chart on her website. We're holding it here. Yeah, I, I, I will... Once we get down to the nitty-gritty of all the final golden walnuts that we need, then we'll resort to, like, looking them up and stuff. But for right now, I'm just happy to explore and figure it all out, right? Buy your mailbox? Five for a mailbox. Awk, deliver mail. Hey, that's kind of nice. I, unfortunately, Haley can't send mail, but it'll still be nice to hear from people back home, I suppose. This is probably a good play, huh? We'll have to do this eventually anyway. I, I will do it unless there's someone, unless there's a very large contingent of chat that's like, no, don't save for something else. But I think we're safe to do this. Remember, bir the birds made a house that's better and they did it faster and for free when Robin takes weeks, so much money, and your materials. Birds MVP. You're not wrong. He's got a good point. Or save for Island Trader. Save for something else, IMO. You don't need it. Like, you're safe to do it, but it's a waste. Haley really gonna hit me with an oh no? Did Haley say oh no? Did Haley bot say oh no? When I... Where is it? Where is it? No, she just says wiggle wiggle. It's good, but it's safe for the Island Express and Trader. Alright, I'm gonna say that there's probably better things to spend our golden walnuts on for right now. But it's good to keep that in mind. Anyway. Uh, do we head off to bed? or I guess let's head off to bed and just start a new day so that we're full on energy again. I'm alright with that. There we go. Day three of Ginger Island. Let's go let's go exploring, shall we? Are these watered? <laughs> why, why do they not look watered to me? I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick check, I guess. Alright, that's water, that's fine. Alright, I was just freaking out for no reason whatsoever. Um Is it volcano mines time? Is it is it the volcano dungeon? Or is there other is there should we do, go explore other things first? Let's go ahead and keep I guess we don't need the hoe. Well, we'll keep the hoe for right now. Maybe we'll bring a chest with us to the volcano dungeon so that we have something similar to, like, our mine's chest back home. And then we'll, we'll uh, go from there. Is there anything more up north here, by the way? Let me go check. Do a little exploring. There's something here. Parrot Express. Is that a fast way to get around the island? Is that like a minecart for the island? That would be my guess. Don't forget to put something in the bin so if you die you can reset. You know what? Fair. We need to ship a piece of ginger anyway, so... That's a good shout out. Yeah, basically the minecart. Okay, fair enough. What do we got here? Some taro tubers? Plant these in warm weather. Takes 10 days to mature. Grows faster. For some, for, for a second, I thought this said grows faster if nobody's watching. <laughs> it grows, it grows faster in your body of water. All right, that's, that makes sense. Uh, build resort for twenty walnuts. Okay, we'll need to do that eventually. I know that much. Uh, we're not leaving. It, does Willie just hang out here on the island with us? Is he also sequestered here for now? I honestly don't know. All right, can't go over this way. Good to know. They're like rice plant near water. I got you. What the heck? <laughs> it's an abundance of resources. Oh my god. Okay, there was some other stuff over here that I was like curious about. So let's go uh let's go see. There's this. I think I know what happens there. I think I've seen a cutscene of that, but I'm not gonna <laughs> I, I don't think I have the materials for it, regardless. Hello. When dark clouds cry, begin your quest to seek the fabled gem birds four. Each day, one north, south, east, or west, arrange their gifts upon my door. So what this tells me is that I need to wait for a rainy day 
Then I seek out gem birds on all four sides of the island, and I put them in their respective quadrants here. Am I somewhere in the right ballpark? Cut fiber. Does the fiber have a chance to yield golden walnuts? or Oh, it gives, it gives tarot tubers. That's kind of nice. Honestly, not bad. Is this fiddle Are these fiddlehead ferns? Hold on. I didn't know you get fiddlehead ferns on Ginger Island. I thought we had to wait for, uh, <laughs> for the secret woods for these things. What on earth? All right. Well, I mean, we'll take them. Absolutely. We would have gotten them eventually, but it's it's good to have them early, I suppose. Is Leo cool with me yet? This would seem to indicate maybe. Feels like a dating simulator, but like with a small child, so it doesn't quite check out. <laughs> it's a friendship simulator, I suppose. I guess that's what Stardew Valley is at the end of the day, in some in some respects. Hello, buddy. I love his drip, by the way. You bird friend. Uh, don't- <laughs> you can't just <laughs> poke a person like that. Not without permission. Seem good. I'm very hardy after seven years of cactus fruit searching. <laughs> I will say that much. She asked if you are bird friend. I told her yes. You make good friends with Fluttershy is all I know. How did you end up here, or where are your parents? I don't want to be that forward. I don't even want to presume to ask about his parents. Let's, how did you end up here? Oh no, we're gonna get sad. Big storm, waves, lightning. Mother, father, swallowed by the sea. I washed up on shore. Poor little kid. This guy, oh my gosh. Yeah, it born just like all the other bird friends. A real Tarzan situation, I suppose. Um, if you're a bird, how can you speak? No, I don't want to like cr break his worldview here. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not about to come up to the kid who's clearly traumatized of ha ha having like grown up on the island, raised by parrots, and being like, um, actually, if you're a bird, you wouldn't be able to speak the English language. So I think you're kind of full of uh, you know what, Mister. Like, like, what the heck kind of monster would you? <laughs> How old are you? Why not? Let's find that out. Old? Oh, he doesn't even know about years, I guess. Yeah, we don't think like that. We say, how many golden walnuts have you eaten? He's eaten 37, 29 golden walnuts. What the heck? Can you share some? But you don't become an elder until you've eaten 10,000. How many cactus fruit do you have to find from trash cans to become an elder? I'm on my way. Hey. I remembered something. My name. <gasps> it's Leo. Somehow I already knew. Matthew McCleskey animation. I know everything about you. Pick up the frog? Wait, is there a frog? Frog. Inventory full. That's a journal scrap? Is there also a frog? Day six. I won't go hungry here. The waters are full of edible, nay, delicious fish. Nay, delicious fish. Sorry, I had to emphasize the exclamation. I even caught a stingray in the caves by the southeast shore. I haven't a clue what to do with it, though. The other, to put, it, put that sucker in a fish pond. Get yourself some dragon teeth, dude. The other day, I even fished up a couple of golden walnuts. They seem to be all over the island. The local parrots go crazy for them. I'm cuckoo for, uh... I'm cuckoo for golden walnuts. Was that was that the frog that everyone was concerned about, or was it uh, was there actually some another one somewhere? Scythe all the fiber here. Need mummy frog. I got you. I will continue scything fiber. That's that's a real frog right there. There's there's no no mummification going on. There are many frogs here. I will I will attest to that fact. This is a this is a frog sanctuary. Kinda dig it. My my ten year old self would have been over the moon. But for right now, no mummified frogs. 
a live frog kill it. I don't think that's how it works. I don't think you just kill it and it becomes a mummy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Unless I, you know, failed my basic biology class. Alright, let's put all this away. Actually, that's a lie. I never took biology class. The young shoots are an edible specialty. I will ship a fiddlehead fern just to say that I have done it. There we go. And let's head up towards the uh, north side of the island, see what we got going on there. Still more grass to chop top, right? I'm gonna, like, I'll explore things at my own pace. I have no doubt that we'll get the mummified frog eventually. It, it, it's a requirement. But for right now, let's just uh, take things as they come. What do you got for me? Build trading hut. So that's the island trader right there. Oh, hello. Did I not get this? Or is this just, like, filled in again? Okay, it's just filled in again. That might trip me up a few times. We'll see. All the coconuts. We're already, like, over halfway to our goal of, uh, of the ten coconuts we need for the desert obelisk. Ten to prepare the bridge. So that's... Is this the fabled dig site of Ginger Island? Where I can go panning for many things? Nothing of interest here yet. How do I get these ones up here? Is that... I have to, like, wrap around from somewhere else, pr presumably? But I don't know exactly where. It looks like maybe I come from somewhere on the eastern part of the island. This is a Parrot Express stop, I imagine. There's a golden walnut up there that we can't get yet. Yes, yes, that is the dig site. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Well, let's get, uh... Let's have a look at the Volcano Dungeon, shall we? I have heard many scary things. Is there anything off to the... Is there anything this way before I start, like, going all the way over there? Don't tell me, like, what it is necessarily. Just, like, if there is something, it might be a good idea to know. But if not, I don't want to waste your time like that. Hello? <laughs> That's a lot of fire? Oh my god. What have I gotten myself into? Excuse me. All right, we just... We, it's a little bullet hell action. It's fine. No, no. You can go right, though, but there's nothing over there? All right. I'm going to trust your guys' word on that one. Should I put the chest down here? Like, chest over by this, uh, by this little well? Unsuitable location. Unsuitable location. Do I have to put it outside? Chest, like, right here? Alright, so this, this, se this seems okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and... We do need a lot of space. That much I'm already probably pretty well aware of. We'll put away the hoe. We'll put away the watering can because we already made our way in. And I think this is our minimum possible loadout. We got the food. We got... I mean, we technically probably don't even need triple shot espresso. But it's probably... It, it's good to have it on hand. I don't know how far I can get in this mines. I'm just going to wing it for right now. And see where the wind takes me. Make sure you always have a dragon tooth in your inventory or two free inventory spots so a dragon tooth doesn't fall into the lava when killing the lizard. Speaking from experience, thank you, Skyroar. I will keep that in mind. Don't leave the watering can. You need the watering can. You need the watering can. All right, cool. I thought I just needed the watering can to get in here, but apparently it's, it's more necessary than I thought. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from that blunder. Now let's uh, sort this out here. All right, so these guys, I can, I, so I can only hit them when they're, like, right here, or, like, some, some miss. I've never seen miss before, at least not, like, from me. That's crazy. This seems like it's going to be a real pain in the neck. <laughs> Do I wait to, like, oh, I should, maybe this is why I should have brought the slingshot, honestly. That's kind of a yikes. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. I got a, I got some bone fragments. Freaking toast them, roast them, eat them alive. Miss, miss, miss. All right, so th he just, like, hangs out here. This is fine. More bone fragments. All right, got it. But those are the guys that drop the dragon's teeth. That 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 much I believe to be true. Excuse me. All right. How does the volcano dungeon work? Let's find out together, live. We'll, we'll do it live. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and pop a Roots Platter. Might as well get that attack buff. 
please watch your health. I will. I got you. I, these roost platters restore about half of our health, so we should be fine. I'm not going to worry too much about resources and stuff right now. I'm going to focus more on like getting through this place alive and well. There's some cinder shards. I know we'll need those. At some. Oh my god, this guy's. This is. This is actually a, an enemy from Bowser's Castle. He looks like straight out of like a like Mario and Luigi game or something. Okay, he's he's gonna blow. <laughs> That kind of helped, though. I've never fought any of these enemies, for the record. This is all all extremely new to me, except for the music. The music I have jammed to on more than one occasion. Crates. Are there crates that I have missed? What do the crates look like? I guess that's, uh, that's the first order of business. Well, I know a crate when I see one. There's some gold down there. This is the way forward, presumably. Is it easy to leave the Volcano Dungeon? Like, can I just, like, go to the start? This this is important, actually. Is it... Can I just go to, like, the start of a floor and, like, leave the whole dungeon? Or do I have to, like, progressively leave each level? Two free slots. Good call. We don't need the sap. We don't need the bone fragments. No, it's not easy to leave. Not... No easy way to leave. There's a cylinder... Did you bring the Burglar's Ring? Seem to shards will go twice as fast. Burglar Ring is on, yes. You, ha you can only leave at 5 and 10. You, you can only leave at 5 and 10, or can, can I leave, like, right now? Do I have to get to 4 or 5 before the day is out, is my question right now. I can leave, okay. I feel like... I feel like this is something I want to, like, focus on. Like, I come here early in the day, start first thing tomorrow, and then we worry about that, right? Knowing that I can only leave at 1, 5, or 10 is probably... I just passed the crate. I will check the crate. We still got time here. Are these the crates? Okay. I'm gonna, that's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to work that into my muscle memory, I suppose. Excuse me! You're not supposed to be in there! Get, a, get away from me! You freak? You're a little freak. He drops a bunch of gemstones, though. Um, eat this. Those machine things are chests you can break. You can always go back the way you came. Play it safe tomorrow or earlier. That's, I feel like play, like coming back here first thing in the morning is going to be the play. Not like the normal mines. You have to find a hole in the wall to go up a floor. That much I did know. I'm pretty sure that's what this is right here. Yeah, and fainting is not free on Ginger Island. I also know that. I've done enough research to know that. So, Oh, God. I should kill these lava lurks. Because they are uh, our source for dragon's teeth. I guess I don't need these gems right now. I know I might need them for like a gemstone puzzle or something, that ge like that gem bird puzzle. But I can also figure that out in due time. My sword is not fast enough. Maybe I can just like put up a blocker when I when those fireballs come in. Okay, there's some more bone fragments. You have to pay a golden walnut for the exit on level five. Thank you very much for that, Noah, and for the $2 super chat. I greatly appreciate that. First dragon tooth acquired, by the way. We're on our way. We're on our way already. What are the what are the requirements for the island obelisk again? We need it, it's 10 dragon's teeth and 10 bananas and then like 20 iridium or something. Which is I mean 20 iridium bars is like nothing compared to all the rest of that stuff. Five golden walnuts for the level five exit. Okay. Do we have five? Uh, we do. So we should be all right. But we could also, like, go fishing and stuff. Even just being this low, can you, you can get killed very fast. Should I have brought my crab shell ring? I'm a little scared. Is there... I mean, there's nothing I'm going to be able to cook, surely, that'll boost my defense. I'm not even going to go looking for it. All right. Uh, let's just go ahead and leave all this stuff in here for right now. So I need to, I need to very much stay on top of my uh, on top of my health situation. Plus three attack. I thought that was some kind of weird debuff, but I've just <laughs> like never seen the attack uh, buff. All right, so ten walnuts. Keep the dragon tooth. Should I just go to go get the dragon tooth? I guess I guess we can bring the dragon tooth home. That's a, that's a good idea. Just keep track of all of them. Bring dragon tooth. Bring cinder shards. Why not? 
you know, and bring the bring the coconuts realistically. The rest of this I don't really care that much about. Bomb is okay. Yeah, we'll tackle the volcano first thing tomorrow. For right now, maybe we just maybe we just end things off with a little fishing on Ginger Island. What do you say? A little Ginger Island fishing extravaganza. We got new fish to catch. We might as well uh, might as well see what the what the water's like. Which boots am I wearing for defense? I'm wearing custom tailored leprechaun shoes. Plus four defense, plus four immunity. I think it's the best I could do. And get like five walnuts while fishing, you think? That, so that sounds plausible. Sounds reasonable to me. Put all this stuff away. Let's grab our fishing rod. Don't really need... I guess you don't technically need any of this. We'll keep the espresso just in case. And I'm sure there's different fish depending on where you fish on Ginger Island, like whether there's like north, south, east, or west farm or whatever, or west, north, south, east, or west island. But for right now, I think we just like just go down south here and just like fish up, fish it up, baby. I don't know if there's designated good spots for fishing. You can feel free to guide me to good fishing spots for Ginger Island if you know of them. But for right now, it's been a while since we've done some any real length of fishing. I'm excited to see how this uh, goes. This man kind of brings me back to the legend days. What? <laughs> Joja Cola? What a ripoff! <laughs> I come all the way to Ginger Island to get away from the corporate life and all the industrialized nature of Pelican Town and its surrounding vicinities, and I get a freaking Joja Cola? What on earth is this? <laughs> it's following me. Oh my god. Alright, what do we got? That's a lionfish? Yeah, that's a lionfish right there. Ocean pollution is real, yeah. One new fish in salt water, one fish in fresh water, and one fish in a specific place. So this is this is our new salt water fish, then I would assume. Because I feel like I'm fishing in the ocean here. Did Haley bring her camera? Unlikely. So when you fish up a golden walnut, is it does it like come with the fish, or does it like uh, is it like a, a fishing treasure chest situation? Pickaxe the Persebes. Is that this? The muscle note. It's like trash. Okay, so you just fish it up like its own little thing, like a ooh a new record. New moon record. I will run and grab my pickaxe so I can hit that muscle node. Because I know I've been told that there's five, and I think I've gotten two from those. There we go. Jojo won't let you forget about murdering their store. Alright, so if I, like, fished in this river, or wherever this river goes to, that's another fish that I can get. Uh, like, that's the freshwater fish you're talking about, I presume? Would be my guess. Um, let's go ahead and sort things out here. Like, if I head up here, is there, like, a little pond or something that I can fish in? Or do I just, like, literally fish in the river? Just, like, just do a little boop? It's kind of nice. eat the lionfish? Should I save lionfish for food? I thought lionfish were like ultra poisonous like in real life, but maybe I'm wrong. Happy to have you here, Madeline. Welcome to the stream. Glad you're able to catch one. There we go. Quick little blue discus. Not not iridium quality. It was not a primo spot to fish, but it was a perfect catch at least. That's already two of our ginger island fish uh, in the bag. I might as well keep this for food, but then potentially in the future. Okay, so we're gonna be go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and start tackling the volcano dungeon first thing tomorrow, which means I should be prepared for that. So let's get our inventory sorted out. 
Uh, I'll bring the hoe. I can put that away in the chest when I get there. This should be all we need right here, I think. I'll go ahead and do something like this, maybe. And then we'll put away the hoe. We'll have the watering can. Anything else we need? Bombs might not be a bad idea to bring, but I mean, we need all the inventory space we can get realistically. I think this is all right. Taro roots are great food and they don't need sprinklers. Oh, I should plant these taro tubers. Yeah, you know what? That's a, that's a good call, honestly. Plant these in warm weather. Grows faster. Plant near body of water. I can do that. And they don't need sprinklers because they're, they're like rice, right? So I could just like plant them like along this little river bank here. Do they need to be like, could I do like one right there or is that too far from the water? Do they need to be like actually like up against the water's edge? Or is this okay? That seems like it's okay. Just based on how the how the land formed. That seems right. Okay, that's fine. It goes far out. Okay, yeah. So it, pro it probably has a decent range then. All right, twelve fifty a.m. Let's head to bed here. Go to sleep for the night. I think we're good. Yeah. Three spaces out is okay. Good to know. Good to know. Thank you. Yo, lionfish, hold on. That <laughs> got cracked for, for money. Not that we need it, obviously. All right. Now we focus down the volcano dungeon. That is our plan for today. So let's get some triple shot espresso in us. Having that parrot express to fly us up there would be nice, but we don't need it technically. We're just It would just be a good thing to have. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, Sell one of those, just in case. And we're good to go. Bring Dragon Tooth in the mines? It's, I mean, I should, I should have done that. You're absolutely right. Uh, I don't really want to head back for it now. I feel like I want to get as much time in as I can, based, because of the fact that this is a new venture for me. But I, that's good to keep in mind for the future. If I get a Dragon's Tooth, like, first thing here, or as soon as I get one, I'll definitely... I mean, obviously, I'll keep it on me, but... It's gonna be a white chest real quick. No, no, we'll make this a little orangey chest. Orange, red. Red is a good fit for the volcano, absolutely. Let's go ahead and... I don't need the ginger, I got food. Go ahead and store the hoe. Keep the watering can. And in we go. Lionfish can drop the most valuable item in fish ponds. What's the selling for? Yeah, it's in case, like, I die, and then I can, like, have maybe a little bit of leeway to... to reset the day, or close out of the game, or whatever I need to do. I don't know if it works, and I'm hoping it doesn't come to that, but it's, uh... That's, that's the plan right now. Alright, hit me with a roots platter real quick. And away we go. I could probably, like, literally just run past these guys, but... You know what? I think I am gonna run past all these guys. Let's get into let's get into the actual volcano. All right. Oh gosh, I didn't expect to come in on the right side like this. That's kind of like a kind of messed with me for a second. Okay. Which of these rocks like breaks easiest? They're all they all break in two hits. All right. That much is good to know at least. It's honestly better than I thought it was going to be. I was worried that I was going to need, like, three hits per rock or something. All right, that's that's floor one done. Down and dusted. All right, I want to take I, I want to take my time with this. We got plenty of time today. Let's make sure to stay on top of it. I'm going to be very, very conservative with my health. I'm going to keep an eye on that, like, nobody's business. I'm not going to be looking at chat beyond right now. That's a golden walnut, by the way. The save folder also contains the previous day's save, so you can revert in there. I do know that, but I don't really want it to come to that if I can help it. But it, it, as a last case, uh, as a last uh, resort, I think that'll be fine. To make it to 10, you gotta move fast. I at least want to make it to 5. That would be that would be preferable for me. A bunch of hard... Oh, that's a freaking boatload of hardwood. Oh my god. Alright, if, if we gotta if we, we gotta move fast, is what you're telling me? We gotta move fast, okay. We're moving fast, then. If, if we if you're telling me we need to move fast, we're going. I'm going. 
I'm- oh my god, there's so many. This is not the right way. I'm a little scared, I'm a little frightened. Alright, that's it right there. That's it. Uh, don't- don't worry, just don't worry about it. We'll get- we'll get to the forge. Maybe that- is that the play? Do you think we- do you think we just run? You don't need to move that fast. Chest? Was there a chest? <laughs> Basically run away from everything. Okay. Zoom out? I would never. I would I I would I would sooner sooner die. <laughs> Maybe that's my pride getting in the way, but it is what it is. Alright, so we're gonna if you only got one of you to worry about right here, I will take my time to kill you at least, so that you're not harassing me and haranguing me the whole way through. Sir. These things take a bit of a beating from my <laughs> my tiny little sword here. Uh oh. This is not the this is not the play. This is not the path. Okay, I thought I thought maybe I was being clever. Let's uh sort let's deal with you and then we'll eat, probably. Might not be a bad idea to honestly have food that like like food for healing. I'm gonna eat right now. Food for healing and then food and then like the roots platter is just for the attack buff, because I don't want to burn through them all that fast. You can find good clubs in the chests. See, I know there is good stuff in the chests, for sure, that we'll need to concern ourselves with. Eat. I don't know if it's worth it to go for these cinder shards. Uh, can I, like, cross this? The music is gone. I'm scared. Mom, I'm scared. Come pick me up. The music has left me. Sashimi would be really good. We, we will probably make a bunch make a bunch of sashimi in the in the near future I think that's probably a play for sure especially with all those muscle nodes and stuff we can make plenty these magma sprites will be the death of me I see some iridium ore over there that's kind of nice not that we don't already have plenty of iridium back home okay squeeze on through. Feel like the slime charmer ring could have been could have been a good play, but we'll make it work. Get out of here! This iridium node is actually like very bothersome. Okay. Uh, frick! <laughs> I'm so fr I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. This is actually just so. So damn nerve-wracking. I don't even know what the. Okay, uh, I'm heading through here. That's that's a. There's a chest in there. I don't know. I think that's just a chest. I don't think that's the way to go. We need a speed buff. We need a speed buff. This this floor frightens me. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Pl plan B. Plan B. We circle back. We circle back. Don't worry about the chest. We'll, we'll have plenty of opportunities for chests in the future. This is plan B right here. Send it. Okay, just get me out of here. Get me out of this floor. Oh my god. All right. This is floor five. It's it's we actually get to breathe for a second. Chests are good loot. Chest has good stuff in it though. We we will we we have infinite chests at our disposal. Don't worry about it. Yeah, chests we'll worry about later. I can actually like technically because the floors don't reset, I can go back for that chest, right? So that's that's a possibility. This is the shortcut parrot y'all were talking about? Exit shortcut. If I use this, do I leave the mine right away, or does it just, uh... Need to open at least one of each type. I'm just gonna open this. Where did all these parrots go? They're just actually chilling in this volcano? What the heck? <laughs> Alright, um... Real quick... Oh yeah, no, I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna do it this way. Because I know you. You have actual things that I need to buy. I know buy. Ugh, ugh. Oh, man, I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. Please stay here and rest. There are no monsters in here. That's what a monster would say. So this is our Warp Totem Island recipe. Technically, technically, once we get this, we can actually just, like, leave as long as we have the Warp Totem Island. That's not a big deal. 
and we need to buy this regardless. And then the ginger ale, the ginger ale recipe is also good. But I would like to stick it out probably until uh, I, I just think it would be better to like not only for our own purposes, but story wise, if we stuck it out on Ginger Island until we had everything we needed for the island obelisk. But this is a good fallback plan if we need it. The pink bow, <laughs> it's ten thousand dollars. So let's just go ahead. We need both of these. Bite the bullet. Done. All right. Cinder clown shoes definitely in our future as well. I, I feel like that's that's a must, especially because they don't actually cost money. Yeah, you have to craft it for 100% anyway. So now, this is our new total right here. 111, not 111 million, my god, could you imagine? 11 million, 300,000, and 40 dollars. Let me go update my totals and stuff. 11 million, 300,000, and 40. I'll go to my checklist, and I'm going to go ahead and check off. We need to check off the Ginger Island ticket, which I never did. That one's checked off now. And then we check off the Warp Totem Island recipe. That's done. And the Ginger Ale recipe. That's done. Perfect. A lot of green check marks on our checklist. If you want to see what we have spent money on and what we currently still need to spend money on, there is a link to the checklist in the description below for anyone who might be new to the stream. Just so you're all aware, we're on the same page. Buy the bow will close our eyes. You have to close your eyes for a long time because that, that cost to be forever tracked in this uh, total spent that you can see on screen right here. Break the crates. I always forget that these are crates. It's a, that's a magma cap. What the heck? That's such good food. Oh my god. Holy crap. That's actually like, that's busted. You guys were not lying when you said that these mushrooms were great food. What on earth? Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Two free inventory slots, they tell me. Uh, I mean, let's eat this magma cap real quick. All right. Now I think we have this shortcut out of here, so we have a fail safe if if we need to if we need to fall back. Let's go ahead and try and get this chest, shall we? Oh gee, it, it just like they just saved the state of the whole thing. All right, we clear out we we clear out all the baddies. This this is this is my floor. I don't know if I'm, I'm probably not going to go for floor ten on this run. Maybe we just dip out at floor five, and we just uh, do our best here. This it's a it's a delicate dance. It's a what a web we weave. What a web we weave. This is kind of cursed without any music, by the way. I, I kind of want some cool battle music going on, but we'll take what we can get. All right, that's one down. That's two down. There we go. All right, a little less panic now. And okay, well there's <laughs> immediate immediate panic. Immediate panic town. Maybe maybe the volcano dungeon is not as super super scary as I as I make it out to be in my head based on what people are telling me in chat. But I don't want to rest on my laurels either. I want to be prepared for I, I don't want to get complacent and start talking about like what your favorite kind of pancake is when we're in the middle of a life or death scenario here. So let's uh, let's all collectively realize that. I got a mummified bat, I think, by the way. Is that what that weird uh, paper mache thing is in my inventory? Mummified bat. Delicate wings have been perfectly preserved. Keep the bat. That bat is so rare, lol. <laughs> a burglar ring coming in clutch. I assume, anyway. Alright. Two free inventory slots, they tell me. Now we make our way through here. Two free inventory slots, they tell me. We make our way through here towards our chest. I mean, I guess I don't need to worry about the free inventory slots if there's no lava lurks in the picture, huh? Eat the bat. Not possible, but I was kind of tempted when you said it. Is this a good chest or is this a a, a lukewarm chest? Because I know there's two different kinds of chests in this uh, in this place. I don't I don't know if this is a good one or not. That's a pineapple seed though. That's kind of that's kind of nice. 
Although we already have pineapple seeds at home in our, like, plant in the ground. Could have just eaten the algae. But when I got magma caps, who needs algae? Day 14. After half a month on this island... Oh, it's a rare chest. Very good chest. All right, that's what I, that's what you like to hear. Ooh, you're getting my gambling muscles tick tick a tickling and a vibing. This is a very good chest. Very rare chest. Oh, first chest, best chest. Let's see. But first, after a month and a half, after half a month on this island, I've learned a thing or two about finding these golden nuts. One must keep their eyes peeled for subtle clues. If something looks unusual, there may be a hidden nut nearby. Mister Chi is just kind of like weird like that. I've noticed signs in the sand and signs in the leaves. I even saw a nut up in a tree near the volcano. If I only had a way to shoot any, shooting it down. You literally just can't just throw a rock. Whenever I've spotted a nut plant, I always found a way to reach it. Alright. Uh, so we eat the algae. Keep the pineapple seeds. I don't know what that is. It looks like maybe uh, solar essence. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, this is fine. Do it like that. What do we got? It's an, it's an ostrich egg? An ostrich egg and a golden walnut. That's That seems pretty good to me. I know ostrich eggs, we need at least one to ship. And ostrich eggs can be used for cooking if we need, if it comes down to that. But that's a, that's a pretty great uh, find, I think. Ostrich egg. <laughs> People are losing their minds in chat. Ostrich egg, what? GG, holy crap. Oh my god. It's an <laughs> Is this like the luckiest thing in the world or you know what Af get, get let me have this let me have this after my cactus root grind okay please please let me have ostrich egg in my first chest oh thank you game you have done me a great service this day that's many mayo that's true that is that is our mayo ticket we need at least another ostrich egg because we need to make one into mayo and then we need to make uh we need to ship one Impressive, very nice. Thank you, Decay. Thank you. That that's kind of wild. All right. Um, do we press on, or do we dip out? Go down, and break the crate. I think we can like at least look at the next floor and see what's what. If like maybe there's like another chest in there or something. Oh my god, <laughs> my inventory's so full. That's fine, that's fine. You dip. You don't need one to make the mail, they just make the normal mail, that's the only one you need. I mean, I can, I guess I can make the normal mail when Marnie inevitably gives us the, uh, tw the dozen eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and, let's at least check out the floor, right? Let's just see what's up, what's, what's cracking in here. Maybe we got, maybe we got another chest, maybe we got more crates. Maybe we got more, uh, these weird magma sprites that I hate. I already hate them. I've barely even been here. The music does put me at ease, though. This does put a smile on my face. Alright. These ones look scarier. Are these ones brighter and more angry? Excuse me! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I don't like the look of that. What is this? I'm burned? Minus two. St oh god, okay. Alright, uh, that's bad. That's that's really bad, and I hate it even worse now. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Bye. Freaking. Oh my god. That's so scary. That's so scary. Minus. Was that minus three defense? What on earth? All right, I'm out of here, dude. I, I, I'm going to take my spoils and freaking leave. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, What do we toss here for... I mean, is this a coconut? It's two coconuts. We only... I mean, we... Yeah, we only need two golden coconuts. So we're actually good. Uh, What do I toss here? I feel like you want to hold the magma cap. Pineapple seed might not be a bad idea. <laughs> Can you toss the iridium ore? <laughs> You know what? I guess he tossed the iridium more. It's more value. It's less valuable for us right now than the coconut. I, I could have put it in the chest, I suppose, but it's fine. It's whatever. Uh, what do we put here? 
You have a chest right over there, bro. You have a chest right there. <laughs> no, I'm just going to trash the Iridium Ore. It's all good. All right, we're going to leave the magma caps here. I think that's a good resource to have for food. And we'll do ahead and bring the rest of this back home with us. How much for this? Okay, so I need 10. What are my other avenues for golden walnuts right now besides the volcano dungeon? Are there any more that I can find via searching right now? I know I can probably find more via fishing, obviously. And then uh, the muscle nodes. Isn't there also like this this parrot over here? Be like, you talk, talk him up. It'll be like, yo, dog, I heard there's a golden walnut in, uh, in the bomba fruit. What do you got for me? Atop Fire Mountain. That's not helpful. About 30 wallets from just doing stuff like mining, farming, fishing. Okay, that's good to know. Muscle Rock Fishing Growing Melon. The Mermaid Puzzle. This Mermaid Puzzle I'm, I'm curious about, for sure. Alright. We don't need that. All right, so I've gotten, I've gotten these two fish. I've got the lionfish and the blue discus already. So we're waiting on a stingray, which I've been told is so. We're, look at this mummified bat. You can just chill for a minute. I think I have to unlock Professor Snail before I can even do anything with you. Okay. Muscles. What happened to all the muscles? Did I like just let like, let them despawn or something? Because <laughs> I didn't I get a bunch of muscles from mining these things down here before. Oh well. The gem birds. Fish in the frog cave? I can fish in the frog cave if there's water in there. You have a TV? We do not have a TV. I've been told that you can maybe get one from the island trader when we unlock that. Need to unlock the resort. Have a good one there, Ender. Thanks for tuning in. Let's go let's go grab the fishing rod real quick. Oh, muscles are in the fridge. You're so right. You're so right. You're absolutely 100% correct. We just make a bunch, of shish a bunch of sashimi here. Say that five times fast. All right, pop the sashimi away. That's pretty good energy. Pretty good, pretty good restoration potentiality. Bombo cave. I can fish in here. This is kind of a vibe. Yo, this cave looks like a like an alien's face, though. Just me or just me? Kind of almost looks like Mewtwo's face. I'm not gonna lie. Mister Mister Frog, Master Uwe, do you have something to tell me, sir? Sir? Always the Joja Cola, man. Always the Joja Cola. Look at this smug face. He knows it too. He's got he's he's just got stacks. He's got stacks and stacks. There's something worth it. Keep going. I'm trusting you. Cyan, I'm trusting you on this one. This is a lot of Joja heresy. We just did away with their whole, uh, with their whole, we'll, we'll try this side maybe. We just did away with their whole, uh, monopoly that they had in, in Pelican Town. This looks like north of Birdie's hut. That, that, that's what that would appear to be to me. Let me go have a look, see. Don't need this trash, we got no recycling machines. Uh, let me go have a, a little peek over here. I'm not looking at chat, just so so I can look really smart. Like somewhere around this vicinity. Can I can I have a look at that one again, sir? So there's like three trees that are like three big bushes, two big bushes. This looks it looks like right around in this in some oh 
Well, there you go. <laughs> a quality bobber to boot. Boost the quality of fish that you cache? Maybe, maybe for you. I don't have, I'm not able to attach that to my measly little bamboo pole. Keep fishing, that's not it, keep fishing. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll fish it there again another time, don't worry about it. There's plenty of time left on Ginger Island. It's getting too late. Let's go ahead and deposit all this stuff. I'll sell these for my sales insur insurance tomorrow. For my death insurance. And then we'll take another swing at the at the mines at the volcano dungeon. We'll just we'll just try to I think tomorrow we try to mainline the uh we try to mainline the forge. Try to get to the very top. You missed him, Beep? Don't he is he's still here. Look, he's still here. Don't make me cry. I'm gonna forget. What am I gonna forget? To fish? No, chat won't let me forget. Especially now that we've had this conversation, this exact one right here, where he said, I'll forget, I'm never going to forget again. I right, go to sleep for the night? Yeah. Oh, hey, by the way. <laughs> Somewhere in a distant land. I guess it's raining. Hey, at least Tim Beeb's water got filled that, filled that day, huh? That's a journey for another day? Very spooky, very ominous indeed. That's what you get for, that's what Joja gets for polluting the Bomba cave. It's raining. Is, is rain, is there anything special to do on Ginger Island when it rains that I can access right now? Is, is there a special fish? I mean, there shouldn't be. There's the stingray, but I don't think that's a rain fish. I think that's a certain area fish. Mermaid, gem birds, gem birds, you're so right. You're so right, I gotta go find these stinking gem birds. Okay. So there's one on each side of the island, they tell me. Like north, south, east, and west. I don't know if I do them in a specific order. I'm gonna do my best to try and figure it out though. So today is not forge day, I guess. Today, today is gem bird day. I'm not gonna, I'm not looking at chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna find these dang birds myself. All right. I don't even know what the heck they look like. I don't know if I'm I don't know if there's one on this side of the island. I'm pretty sure there must be because it's it, there were the four pedestals and there were four and it's like it said like all four sides of the island. So let's uh let's let's figure it out. If I was a gem bird, where would I be? Probably not inside a muscle node, but we got to try for those golden walnuts from time to time. Okay. I would probably be up north of my farm in that little wooded area. Let's go have a look see. You're not a gem bird, you're just a you're just a parrot. I would probably be somewhere up here. No. Do I, I don't even know if I, do I have to like shake a thing to to find these guys? I don't think I have to shake trees to find them, presumably. There's some ginger right there. Maybe this is not the best place to start looking for gem birds. I don't know. This is a lot of tiger slimes, is all I know. Why are they just, like, get allowed to chill on my farm? Get them out of here. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, let's see. Do you, do you have a gem bird, sir? Gem bird? No. Okay. Gem bird. Gem, you're a gem bird. You're, a, you're not a gem bird. I don't even know what to do when I see the gem bird. <laughs> Down here. No. Uh, uh, this is gonna be... This is this is cursed. They're they're breeding. Everyone look away. Give them some privacy. Over here. Way like way over here. Way far west. Super far west. I'm going to I'm going to assume that I'm not ultra blind and just say that hey, maybe this is not actually a part of the island that contains a gem bird. That's going to be my assumption for now. I could be proven wrong, because this feels like Island West to me, but I don't know. 
Is there a gem bird here? Are you a gem bird? No, you're you're a resort bird. We don't talk about you. I'm just gonna explore. I'm just gonna scour every corner of this place until I see something that looks amiss. What do we got over over yonder? Maybe I could, oh, I feel like that might be a gem bird. That's an aquamarine. Okay, that's one gem bird. They look they they're just a big flamingos. You just gotta look for the unsurpassable Zed mascot. All right, uh. I'm gonna go ahead and toss the ginger for, toss the Joja Cola. What are you doing? If I need four gems, I need four inventory slots. I will toss the ginger for right now. Alright, so this was presumably Island East. Right? Let me just read this again. So seek the fabled gem birds for each day one north, south, east, or west. Each day one north, south, east, or west. Arrange their gifts upon my door. So, you can only get one gem bird per day? Is that correct? I'm gonna look at chat for, for confirmation on that one. Only... is Do you only get one gem bird per day? Only one per rainy day. Only one per rainy day. All right. I, I, I got there in the end. You were all d undoubtedly screaming it at the top of your lungs. I can see that now that I actually look, but okay, so that that's our one for today. That's our aqua, aquamarine today. So I've, I've been told there's also a mermaid puzzle. Is that something I can access right now? Is that is that a rainy day thing or something I can even uh, deal with right now? Place the gem, go back, place... Uh, fine, I'll put the gem on the pedestal. I wanted to make it all theatrical and make it like, you know, we put all four on at the same time, but maybe maybe you have to put it on the same day you find it. This is a ghost emerald. Sorry, a ghost aquamarine, and you don't, uh... And it disappears if you don't put it on first thing. There. It's done. Leave it on the pedestal. Put the gem on the thing. No mermaid puzzle yet. Place the aquamarine, please. It's it's been done, <laughs> chat. I am at your I am at your beck and call right now. All right, I'm look I'm looking back at chat again now that I know that I have no more gem birds to seek. We'll be all right. Mermaid isn't until after something else. I got you. I got you. Let's go ahead and make some more sashimi. Some ginger in there. All right. I am gonna go ahead and. Do should I? Do you think there's enough time left in the day to try and tackle? I'm I'm not I'm I'm not even gonna finish answering. I'm not even gonna finish asking the question. Even if there is enough time to try and tackle, like get to the forge, I don't want to risk it because I I know myself and I know my limits. So let's let's like sleep maybe or oh, here you know what we'll do? We'll fish in the Bombo Cave to do whatever the heck is in here that uh, people are so ardent about, and then I will continue from there. Go look for walnuts. I don't know where to look though. I feel like the I feel like I've expended all of my walnuts icity. Except for fishing and stuff, I guess. Like fishing could be the play. I mean you guys, it's 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 just a bunch of trash. I don't know what the I don't I get it, this guy's kind of a slob. Is this- are you- we don't need to make fun of him for it. Why are you making me fish up all of his dirty secrets? I have indeed talked to the frog. He wants the pink bombo fruit, but uh, I don't have the juicy fruit that's gonna move him yet. It's growing. Just keep fishing, just keep fishing. <laughs> I mean, there's a golden walnut. There's at least that. All right, we're, we're going to switch it up now. That can't be all that it was. I know I know my chat better than that. They wouldn't ask me to fish this up just for a golden walnut that's specific to this place. That, just, that must just be like a random golden walnut. Y'all are, are hyping it up so much. Am I about to fish like Haley out of the water? I'm very confused. We'll figure it out, though. 
We'll figure it out together. That's another golden walnut, at least. There's there's five of them from fishing, so that's two, I think. Better than Haley? I mean, whose chat do you think you're in right now? That's another journal scrap. That can't be it either, but we'll look. The local volcano holds many secrets. I've seen little men with glowing eyes skittering about in the dark like cats in the night. Could these be the fabled dwarf men mentioned by M. Jasper in his famous journeys? Is this a, a commercial in the middle of my heartfelt diary? Strange machines, too. Uncanny. Not like anything known to man. At the top, I found a passage to the caldera of the volcano, and half submerged in the bubbling lava, a peculiar machine, a kind of forge. I'll investigate further tomorrow. Ten steps ahead of you, pal. That's three golden walnuts. I mean, this is a great way to fish up golden walnuts. Is this what you're just trying to get me to do, is grind out all five golden walnuts from fishing? In which, if, if that's the play, I mean, that's a galaxy brain move by chat. I feel like I'm getting trolled, but it is not April 1st, so we'll keep on going. We at least have, we at least have golden walnuts to look forward to, even if this is just 100% trash. No, we're not trolling you. That's what a troll would say. That's four golden walnuts. I'm dipping at five golden walnuts. I'm telling you right now. What the heck is that? That's a <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> that's a frog hat. What? Oh, what's this? Uh, get it, get out of here. Broken glasses. Nobody needs you. It's a slimy friend that lives on your dome. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it kind of looks like a, almost like a swimming cap or something. Like this is something you'd wear to go uh, to, to your local swimming pool. Almost looks like a weird uh, def like mutant Mickey Mouse ears too. I'm afraid. I'm slightly afraid and concerned. But you know what? It was worth it at the end of the day. It is green. It is green. I can't uh, argue with that. It's a beautiful hat. All right, well, we'll rock it for right now. I guess the copper pan is is short-lived. We can br we should bring that to the dig site whenever we want to do our panning ex expeditions. Um, speaking of which, uh, we have eight golden walnuts. Was it 10 or was it 20 to unlock the dig site? I feel like the dig site might be a good place to go next. But I think it's 10 for that. So I need more fishing and then some and then one from something else because i think i can only get one more from fishing if I, if my sources are to be trusted concerned frog that's me these looks like they were fully grown but i'm like there's no way they grow that Ooh, pardon me there's no way they grow that fast i'm going to go fishing down uh down in the ocean cuz that's more my vibe no more fishing are there, are there no more golden walnuts from fishing? I already got five out of five from fishing. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me know. Now I don't have to worry about that, but we'll at least see what we get from this. It's a flounder. Don't make me a oh, honk shoe. It's a chicken statue as well. It could have been something magnificent, but it's just a chicken statue. You know what? We do need some decoration for our new home here. Do we have a table that I can put this on? The chicken statue? It's kind of an un understated accessory back on Frugal Farm. I don't have a table. There's no tape. There's nowhere to put this chicken statue. Rip. All right. We will put all this stuff away for right now. Um, I will sell. You know, we'll sell the flounder tomorrow. So let's see. I think we'll, we'll have the sashimi on standby for food. I think the roots platters are still going to be our best bet for right now. I'm going to, I think, go to bed because we got only, we only have about 10 minutes left in the stream anyway. I think we can probably squeeze in one more day, one last crack at the forge. And then uh, we'll probably close off with some Prairie King because we didn't actually get to do Prairie King last time for obvious reasons, I would think. If you were there, if, if you know, you know. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. 
Let's not waste any, let's not dilly-dally any further. Go to sleep for the night? I think I'm good. Focus on dragon teeth and cinder shards. I should grab the, uh, the dragons, the dragon teeth from my chest in order to hold on to them. Dragon teeth and cinder shards, I suppose. So that I can stack them. That might be the play. I think everybody knows since we are on Ginger Island. I mean, hey, there might be some brand new people to the stream. If if you're if you if this is your very first stream and you have no idea what's going on or what this challenge is about or you're just slowly catching on yourself, can you type a one in chat for me? If we got any like brand new new to the park viewers slash lurkers slash whatever, we welcome you with open arms. It might be a little overwhelming, I understand, but uh, here we are. I'm just curious to see. All right, so let's go ahead and drop a flounder in here. And I think we just go on with the rest of this. Welcome Andrew, Aaron, Aaron, <laughs> Aaron and Aaron. That's that's a, that's kind of funny. I ate the cake. Uh thank you. Thank you to the new viewers in here. YS, well, thank you as well for the 499 super chat. Not caught up at all, but this is an exciting turn of events. Yeah, this is a heck of a, a stream to tune tune into. Anyone who's not caught up on the vods at this point is uh <laughs> I mean, once once they tune in, they're gonna know instantaneously that like things have transpired. This has been a very progress-heavy stream. Bring sashimi. I got lots of roots platters. I'm not super concerned about it. I know I said it would be nice to have two sources of food: one for the buffs and one for the uh, one for actual energy. I'll bring this magma cap in. I, I'm not afraid to do that. I think that could be a good. Uh, Good idea. The rest of this, I think we're good here. And let's go. I mean, I, well, I don't need sashimi if I just don't get hit. That's, that's, maybe that's my play, is I just don't get hit, right? Alright, I do kind of want, I know this is probably a bit of a waste of time when I should be focusing on the forge, but I want to fight these lava lurks because I need the dragon's teeth. And I don't want to have to worry about that in the actual dungeon itself. So let's just clear out the uh, tiger slimes here. Take care of business. Man, those things hurt. And then we will... Uh... That was good, that was good. I see what you mean about needing... Oh, oh we killed both of them in that thing, okay. I see what you need mean about uh, needing empty inventory space or or have a stack already on hand. All right, um, I'll just launch this white algae. I'm gonna go ahead and launch this as well. Be ready to go and let's head in. No hit volcano dungeon. I don't know if I'm quite quite ready for that yet, but I'll I'll give it my best. All right, so I need to be speedy. That much I can already tell, based on the, just the layout and the general structure of how this this place goes. But I don't think I need to be like crazy speedy. This is a button. That's a that's a pressure plate right there. I don't know what I've done, but hopefully something cool. Chest. Secret chest. Oh oh I don't I don't like that. I don't like being slow. Oh okay this is a little overwhelming to start off with, but it's fine. Are these more buttons? No, this is just like stuff. This is just stuff. Very descriptive, Argon. Just architecture. Get out of here. I'm, I'm, I am keeping an eye on my health. Basically, any time I get hit, I'm I'm looking down at that uh, spot right there. I don't want to get comboed into oblivion. There's another... Uh... Oh, jeez. Not these things, please. Stop, stop. Get out, get out of here. Get out of here. There's another two golden walnuts, actually. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not going to worry about any of that loot on the ground. I realize the pineapple seeds could be pivotal, but if they're part of the mixed seed collection anyway, then I'm not super concerned about it. Okay, let's go ahead and pop up. Nothing, okay. Uh, I need to find more pressure plates, is what I would assume that would that gate means. I need more pressure plates. I heard a little ka-chunk. I think we're good. Yeah, okay. Alright. That's uh, that's an interesting curveball. I don't know how I feel about it right now. 
That's okay. I, I do want that actually. We'll, we'll take that over the sap a thousand times out of a thousand. There's our exit. All right, that's a, that was a fast floor. That was a good one. Now we keep on going. We keep on going. True speed run hours. All right, I need to be okay. They're they're swarming from all directions here. Let's be cautious. It's still we're not even at past noon yet. We still got plenty of time here. I don't know how big the later floors get. I know I'll also need to be concerned about the like worse versions of these guys, the ones that burn me and basically make me want to scream and quit the game. There's a chest over there. That, that looks like a basic chest. It doesn't look as cool as the first one we found. But you know what? I'll take that. I, the, da the dagger is... is All right, chat. We're paused right now. We got a moment. Is it worth... Should I, should I clear a spot for the dagger? For that... I think that's the dwarven dagger. Is it worthwhile? What do you think? Hit me with it. I know daggers are kind of frowned upon. And I don't know if I would ever end up actually using it, but uh, Wallagug making himself known, boo daggers. Daggers very not good. No, yes, daggers suck. Trash the slime. Honestly, yeah, at least look at it. Daggers are bad. Wait for hammer or sword. I'm kind of in that boat of waiting for hammer or sword. There's also like scary tiger slimes in the way, but you know what? We'll at least peep it. Dwarf Dagger. Le level 11 Dagger. That's honestly, like, kind of... Kind of good. <laughs> like, hold on. What if? What if we're cracked? That feels... That feels alright. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we can make it work. Maybe this was actually a... A, a goaded play. Garbo stats. Wallagug, do you see the sword I'm working with here in the Volcano Dungeon? <laughs> Compared to this, I will take it. I will absolutely take this. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is more of a blessing than I realized. I mean, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of daggers, but we'll, we'll do what we gotta do in here. Okay, I need to, I need to be mindful of my, uh, of my HP as well. Alright, HP, HP refresh. Argon is a dagger man. I, I might be being persuaded. This thing has just like saved it's I feel like this is such a huge upgrade compared to the Steel Falchion, at least for right now. I don't get me wrong, I'm sure that when we get around to the uh like an actual dwarven sword or hammer or the, one of the dragon weapons, then I'll I'll ditch this thing. I'll drop it faster than like uh than Emily would drop Clint if they actually started dating. That was a little too far, I'm sorry. Um but for right now, I think we just got to make the best with what we got. Eat the caps. Uh, at, at my health, my health is good. My health is all right. I think we're doing fine. I'll, I'll, I will continue to collect more caps here. I feel like I've walked past something important, but I don't remember what now. So I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> all right. Wow, slow down, Argon. It's 1 p.m. I'm halfway through this place. I don't know what lies ahead of me, and I'm afraid. So I'm not going to slow down right now. But I appreciate the, uh... <laughs> I appreciate you looking out, at least. All right, I should at least do that. Is that always a... Because we got that last time, too. A very rare mushroom. All right, I missed the Cinder Shard node. That much I'm not... I mean, I can come back here and, and farm for Cinder Shard nodes in the future. I hate... Stay away from me? Stay away. I don't know. I'm not dealing with you. Aw, oh, frick. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't panic. This is not the time to panic. This is the time for action. This is the time to find pressure plates. Holy crap. Get, this, get these things away from me. Actually... I'm okay. I'm burned. I'm burned. That's not good. This is not good. Get ready to eat. Get ready to eat. I'm 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 eating. I'm eating a magma cat. All right. You switch. You pivot. Pivot. This dagger might not be <laughs> the greatest play now that I'm thinking about it. It does so much damage, but I'm not used to it. Okay. Okay. Just calm. Calm yourself. Calm yourself down. It's it's not that bad. It's not that bad. They're not doing like ridiculously horrible amounts of damage. 
Now, you do have minus three defense now, so that is a little scary. But he's dead. He's dead. Okay. I hate your figure eight patterns. Get out of my face. Okay, I'm going to eat just to be on the safe side. Dual wield? <laughs> is that an option? All right, I don't like that that one that I've uh, drawn aggro here. This is not a good place to be. We just we just dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge real quick. Okay, I, is that I, that I I got two? I don't know if there's ever gonna need more than two on any of these. Uh, slip on by. All right, we're good. We're good. We're through. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I feel like this is better for that. Yeah, obviously. We just keep on going. There's only one on my tail right now. I just want to. I just want to power through this place. All right, that was that was a good floor. That was a great floor, actually. I would hazard a guess. All right, we got plenty of time here. Let's maybe just you know do a little exploration. I do want to get to the forge. Don't get me wrong, but I also think that it would behoove us to at least look for some extra loot. Those dragon's teeth are tempting as well. I hear scary magma magma. Sprites is what they're called, I think, maybe. I feel like for these guys, the sword is the better play than the dagger. I could be wrong on that front, but there we go. Inventory full, by the way. All right. I honestly think the dagger does pretty well against these things, especially with the special attack. We're not getting anywhere near death today. Not today. What do you say to death? Not today. Sir, okay, these these things can actually <laughs> go suck an egg. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. You're like a little mosquito. There we go. Okay. Thank goodness. All right, I feel like this is a this is a watering can play right here. Level 8. I don't know, maybe it's level 9, like, ultra long or something? We'll see. We're about to find out. What was in this inventory slot that I dropped? Oh, it was a magma cap. We're fine. Okay, um... This seems a little... Labyrinthine. I don't know how I feel about that right now. Can't go that way. Is there a rock there blocking me? Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm. Oh, there's a there's a there's a button right over there. I'm dumb. I'm just blind. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear God. Okay. Save me. Help me, Tim Beeb. You're my only hope. I don't know why I call him Tim Beeb. I just miss him. Okay. It's, it's, I'm, in a, I'm in a scary new world, and I don't know how to react, and I just default to my old sensibilities. Bring some triple, triple shot espresso. All right. Button. Button. There, there's a... Right there. Get it. Um, amethyst? I laugh. Haha. -ha. Who needs an amethyst? There is another thing up here, though. Another amethyst. Abigail is fuming. Um, okay, all right. Uh, Magma Cap, Magma Cap, Magma Cap me! <laughs> Holy crap, get me out of here! Ah! <laughs> just, just let me, let me out, please, 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 let me leave. I, I don't want, I don't want it. I don't want to know. I, I'm, I'm, I want to go home. <laughs> Help me, I'm scared. <laughs> but we did make it. We have made it. Just past the end of, uh, just past when the normal stream time ends. Holy moly. Get a couple golden walnuts for our troubles. Also a, a, a special treasure chest there by the looks of it. Thank you for the soothing music, by the way. This volcano called the era music is actually ooh, putting me greatly at ease right now. What do we got? Oh, prismatic shard. I don't mind that. I do not mind that. We made, We finally got it back. Finally got it back. This has got to be like a, a guaranteed prismatic shard, right? This is there's no shot that I just like got lucky there, or maybe they're just not that rare in these things. All right, <laughs> just toss the toss the 
iridium iridium ore real quick. I will toss the coal. Dagger saved his life. You're honestly not that wrong. Um, so how does this work? Place a weapon or tool in the left slot. Place a gemstone in the right slot. You can also combine two rings. Should I do anything here? I mean, I don't have any other rings right now that I can wear. Not on the islands. Like once we get, once we get to go back to Pelican Town, then we can maybe concern ourselves with that. But I feel like there's not a reason to use this right now. Coal is more useful in Iridium right now. Son of a. All right, it's all right. I mean, we have access to the mines, so we'll be fine. But I think I'm just, I'm cool just to leave here, right? Come back for free? For real? Oh, hey, yeah, look at that. <laughs> I should have known they wouldn't make you go through that whole rigmarole anytime you wanted to... What the heck is this? Build bridge. I mean, I, I, can, I can just do that myself. Axe, axe enchants? We do have access to axe enchants now. You're not wrong about that. We will have to do that at some point, but it's not mission critical right now because we don't have access to... We, we're not... Even if we had the enchanted axe, we're not to, in a place to go back and enter the secret woods right now. It kind of would kill our momentum. Dig site unlock. Get the quarry. I think we will handle these things. We will... Excuse me. I'm sad today. Can we get some Argon love in chat for Leo? He's big sad right now. Why are you sad? You go on have fun, let me be sad. What is he like? What's it, Are there any of these good gifts for him? I don't know what the first thing about gifts for Leo. Can I give him something to make him not sad? Get the chest on the ninth floor? Is was there a good chest on the ninth floor? Was there like a legendary chest? I might be I might be persuaded to go back for that. Mango prismatic shard. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Food is a universal like. Roots platter maybe. Caps maybe. Haley loves them. I feel like you're trolling me. Loves mango and duck feathers, neither of which I have access to right now. You know what? Have a, have a, have a good meal, sir. I don't know if I can digest this. Frick, we, we messed it up. I got, I got baited by chat. I will go have a peep at the, at, at level nine. You know what? We're not going to talk about that. I'm just going to leave. I'm going to say, like, I was going to peep at level nine, but I don't want to risk, like, spending too long in here because I do have to, I don't have the... A luxury of having mine carts around here. I got a, I got a dip. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the steel falchion. Leave our dwarf dagger as well, I guess. There's, I don't, I don't feel like I need. Well, actually, you know what? It might be good to have one, one weapon just for the tiger slimes near our farm. And then I think you just take this and well, we can leave that actually. Take this and run. We're good. Please sleep before anything else. Yeah, I got you. That's kind of that's kind of where I'm at, especially because it is like the very end of the stream. We're already over time, so I think um, for some reason that looked that looked like a spot for a walnut to me, but I, maybe I'm just crazy. Leave the dragon teeth. I'll leave the dragon tooth in my inventory for right now. That that way it'll be a good reminder for when I come back to uh, to do this all again tomorrow. But for right now, we just go ahead and deposit all our goodies. We'll, we'll eventually need to sort this out, I'm sure. But for right now, it's not a big deal. Um, yeah. Well, that was... <laughs> we can't be over time. It, it's, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm, all, I'm having a ton of fun getting to know Ginger Island. And not just because I've spent so long digging through trash and it's such a breath of fresh air. But literally because I've like never been to Ginger Island and this is this is all new content, it's very invigorating to me. I'm excited to see where things go from here. And I hope that you're all excited to continue uh, experiencing it with me. We are getting close. Once once we get... Here's the exciting thing, for real. Once we get to 100 Golden Walnuts, then we get access to the Walnut Room. And we can, for, for the first time, get a good indication of where our... Uh, 
where we stand as far as perfection goes, like what percentage we're at. For right now, I think, you know what, I, I deprived you all of it last stream. It is a little late to get started, but I feel like this has all been such a new ex and novel experience. We, we need a little famili familiarity to... to a little familiarity to ground us and bring us home. I will understand if you want to leave the stream now. It is getting late. But we're going to send it one time tonight for Prairie King. Journey of the Prairie King. We brought this for a reason. Let's do it. If you get dwarf weapons, they're great. We do have the dwarf dagger already. Probably the worst of the dwarf weapons based on just uh, general consensus opinions. But... It's it's better than it's better than the weapon that we brought here. I've come to realize that, and I'm willing to I'm willing to learn dagger tactics in order to make it work. Off to a phenomenal start here, by the way. Maybe Ginger Island is going to bring the luck that we need for for Prairie King success. Finally, not that like we have not that we've been completely without success in on Frugal Farm, but uh, on Frugal Farm Ginger Island branch, it's a whole new world. It does feel so weird after all the new stuff that I've experienced today, after all the new expenditures and everything, to just be playing Journey of the Frickin' Prairie King again. <laughs> just like I'm back, just like I've gotten back after four hours of checking the same eight trash cans over and over and over again. It's all, it's, it all comes down to Prairie King. Going for Fector's Challenge, for those who might not be in the know. Uh, Fector's Challenge is just beating this game without dying one time. Very, very difficult. And not part of perfection either. It's just a little side challenge that we have going on, but a fun one, I, I would wager. Is this Call of Duty? It's about as close as I get to Call of Duty. I do actually own Call of Duty Black Ops for the Nintendo Wii, which is probably like the least owned Call of Duty incarnation that exists out there. I don't know why I have it. I don't remember where I got it or what the, what the motivation was there, but... I do own it. I don't think I've ever played it. It might even still be in the plastic wrap. I'm just not a first-person shooter guy, generally. Maybe I got it because, like, friends wanted to play it or something, but I can't. I don't even think that, that was the case. I don't think I had any friends at the time who were into Call of Duty. Now I do. Now I have at least one friend who's, pre who's pretty well into it, but he's, he doesn't try to, like, uh, get me to play with him. Because he knows that I just don't have fun with those types of games. Usually, though, I'm sure there, I'm sure there's exceptions to that rule, and I've just yet to discover them. Maybe, but right now I'm not willing to to branch out. I'm have let me have fun with my Stardew Valley, and my Price of Perfection, and uh, call me when there's a when there's a Call of Duty challenge equivalent to this. Because for right now, I can't even. I mean, maybe, there probably is some kind of crazy Call of Duty challenges out there, but none that I would probably be super interested in. Ooh, that's a nice little five piece. This is this is honestly a very good run gold wise. Let's try our best not to squander it here. Just finish out the level, get your damage upgrade, and uh, then we're already basically halfway to our next gold threshold, because we want we want fifteen and then we want ten, right? Yeah, for the for the power ups here. The price of duty. Stardew Valley Black Ops. I mean, yeah, no, like, definitely no, uh, no ill will to you if you do like those first-person shooters. Obviously, they're a very popular franchise. I've just like, like, anytime I watch any game like that, anything like, uh, any like Overwatches or Fortnites or Call of Duties or any similar sort of things like that. I mean, Fortnite's maybe not like, it's not a first-person shoot. Well, is it? I don't, I don't know. I I know very little about Fortnite to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> Uh, I know, like, just enough to get by, and that's about it. Okay, well, that was... I let myself get swarmed there. There was no good excuse for that, but... That was our one run for the day. It was at least a little taste of something familiar. I honestly kind of forgot when I was in there that I was going to be in the Silent Farmhouse when I came out, and I'm a, I, was, <laughs> I was a little bit shell-shocked to see this new bedroom. Bit of a waste of a good run there, but it's alright. I do need to get going to bed regardless. Both me and Chloe. Go to sleep for the night. I think we're good.
All right. Well, that marks what seven days on Ginger Island. This is this has been our first week on Ginger Island. Oh man, we're gonna miss the luau. We're not gonna have a chance at the luau. It's all good. We will, we'll make it work. <laughs> I mean, we'll 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 learn to live with it. But for right now. Thank you all so much for uh, joining this stream. This has been a very exciting one, a very pivotal one, obviously. And I look forward to seeing where the challenge goes from here. We have a lot to look forward to still. A lot to uncover on Ginger Island. There are many secrets. And I look forward to seeing all of that together with you. Or more accurately, being guided along on this. <laughs> like I'm like a little little toddler with my hand being held. But I'm all. But at the same time, the toddler is like holding the entire world in his hands. That's base. That's basically what it is. And you're the parent that's guiding me along, chat. So I appreciate that for you, from you. At any rate, I'm gonna head out of here. I will leave you with the uh, usual fan art compilation, and I will see you tomorrow. If you did enjoy the stream, leave a like down below. I greatly appreciate it. It does help out the channel a whole lot. And subscribe if you want to be notified next time we go live, which will be tomorrow, same time, same place. I'm going to get out of here. All right. Until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you all, and have a great night. Bye.